Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. Hello and welcome back. How are you all doing today? Let's jump right back on in. How's it going, Balinor? Hello, hello. I'm excited to get back into this game. I'm enjoying the story. Figuring out what's going on in Trumbull Valley. I definitely want to go and uh, see if there's some more stuff we can build out with the, with the house as well. Our complex is pretty crazy. We still have, what is it, one facility that's still up for grabs? We haven't really decided what to do with it yet. What about maybe doing a sniper tower, maybe doing it for utilities, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's not too sure yet. Okay. I hear you folks have been poking around and might have a few questions. All right. Ready for answers. How about we meet up? That's great. We could do that, but we still have, like, some minor injuries on individuals here. All right, we just got Vic. Vic we just picked up. He is a paramedic, so that's right. So we just got this thing up and running. Which gives rapid recovery, but we don't have anything that actually removes injuries yet. This just passively recovers and removes trauma. Well, it says it does. Only infection, but it doesn't seem to, right? I think we have to upgrade this if memory serves when we were talking about it. it. Allows all survivors to passively recover from injuries while inactive. Doesn't say anything about trauma recovery though. It doesn't say anything about for trauma. Passive recovery passively heals community. Requires meds and storage. Yeah. Okay. So we still I think we still have to manually deal with trauma. No salvage parts and pieces. All right, let's take a look at the map here. What are we dealing with? So we've got you. It's going and learning more about what's going on, or continue to strengthen the community. There's a lot of individuals here, so we got a bunch of them here. We got the farmers. We've got the we've got Santos. We've got, I, we don't know anything about the old factory, or the doctor's outpost. Then <laughs> the bad has to stay. Yeah. Well, that's right. Our goal is to try and get her to join us. She's currently giving us base-wide... No, not currently. She can give us base-wide water. You don't give us anything. That's unfortunate. We have one, two hearts that we've found so far. Floating around, but we really want to get her to join us. Pretty bitter about that, yeah. We really want to get her to join us if we can. Let's see here. Is there anything nearby we need? Oh, that's right. We still need to go track down ethanol. I have no idea where to get it. We've gotten some. We've gotten some here and there. Let's jump into the this part of the city. Let's jump down there. Let's just go and try and do a quick run. Let's see if we can pick up some more ethanol. We just need a little bit more. We can build, upgrade our still. Yeah. Start building this. I say it's about time we got some answers. It's good that we got this place up and running again. Better than leaving it like some kind of tomb. I say, wait a second, where'd my, where'd my truck go? It's right here. Alright, so... That's smoking over there. It's completely empty. We do need to, at some point... I mean, we could probably do that right now if we wanted to. Get down here and grab the repair van. It's a ways away. But we do have this... <laughs> this falling apart junker of a car. It's got no doors and it's smoking like crazy. We could take this guy over there. We just need to get a little bit of gas in him, and then just not hit anything to have it explode. I think there's one juggernaut on the way. I think let's go do that. I don't really care about having this car. This car's not something we care too much about. We don't really want it. It's got just absolutely abysmal storage space in comparison to the other options that we have. Hello? Right. It's got eight slots of storage. You can carry four people in it. This guy, on the other hand, is much tankier and it's eight slots of storage. So, I'm going to stick with the military guy instead of this. Oh. oh I'd like to let's put gas in here, please. Refuel. And then once we have the repair van, that's the one that carries nine. Oh my goodness. So much, so much loot. So much loot can be carried. Alright, is there... Are we all topped off on ammo? I don't think we really are. We can pick up, I think, one more bullet each, which I will happily take. And snacks are still good, okay. I know that's actually more than one bullet right there. That's just one bullet, though. 
Uh, we got attachments on these. Improved and handmade. Do we have anything better than the handmade suppressor? We have advanced suppressors. Here we go. No jams or breaks, but it would just be quieter. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's swap this out. Most of decreases number of shots. Yeah, uh, reduces noise by two thirds. Amps range. Oh no, it actually doesn't matter. Never mind. We'll keep using the, the junky handmade one since it reduces the same amount of sound. And it's on a bolt action, which uh, my last group worked never hard break. to build this place. Well, that's up. not a problem. It was worth it. Never mind. All right, we got an extra, extra handful of bullets. Let's not break this thing. Come on now. <laughs> Let's get some lights on. Try our best not to hit any any friends along the way. Yeah, we might not be able to go at full speed strictly because strictly because of it. Let's see what we can do. We're just gonna have to slowly mosey our way on over there. I didn't mark where the truck was, right? Not the edge of town. Yeah, I did. Okay. We get that repair truck. About two kilometers out. It's not too bad. We can do that. Luckily, again, this map isn't too huge. It's nice and open. There's a lot of stuff in it, so it feels nice and full. But it's not actually that big. Getting from one side to the other is is not as bad as it could be. Ooh, geez. Um, all right, hold on. Let's uh, we're gonna manually take care of this here. And take care of this manually here. Yeah, there's that juggernaut. I knew there was one here. I couldn't quite make that turn comfortably enough, so let's uh, let's clean these guys out here real quick. Get ourselves a to catch my breath. Whoa, back up now. I need some stamina. Come on now. Whoa. <laughs> I can't keep dodging forever here because I end up using stamina when I dodge. Ah! Oh, come on. I know we're tired, so we swing a little slow. That's okay. We can recover from Blood Plague once we get back. There we go. We got some stuff. Let's have to clean this up. Not the best way clearing them, but good enough. Let's finish getting stamina. Let me clear that guy here real quick just in case he turns around. Yeah, I, I'm trying to avoid having to use a repair kit or anything here. Oh, there's a horde over here. Let's uh, definitely avoid getting them involved. Right, and we're going to artfully spread ourselves through these cars. Cautiously. All right, perfect. All right, we're going to zoom past the Juggernaut. <laughs> Don't get caught, don't get caught. Are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh jeez, I'm just so nervous this thing's gonna just explode on us. Oh, good, okay. Can't quite tell if it's white smoke or black smoke that's coming out right now. I'm hoping it's still just white smoke. We aren't at the black smoke stage. Yeah, it's still. It's just a better contrast without the lighting on. Death waits. <laughs> for the slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, Balinor, I'm, I'm trying to focus so hard. All right, we're one kilometer out. We're halfway there. Halfway through the fire and the flames here. We're almost, <laughs> almost there. Come on now. Welcome to Marshall. Come around. Ooh. I don't want to hit a single zombie. I don't want to hit any of them. All it takes is getting their foot caught in the wheel well and we're hosed. Things gonna blow up on us. You know, something I didn't double check or don't remember is how much gas is in that repair van. I hope it's enough to get home. But I don't actually know. I'm all patched up. Oh, that's awkward. Where can I be useful? This isn't exactly the right direction here. We could probably run the rest of the way here. Oh, didn't exactly mean to go down, but that's fine. Go ahead and stick a look. Somebody here. already picked this place clean. That's okay. We're here for the scouting. 
up, up, up. Oh my goodness, up, come on. <laughs> Quincy, please. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, everything's already surveyed. Burn more blood plague. Cell tower must have gotten it all. That's right, we have the, uh, that's, that's right, I forgot, we grabbed that outpost. We can get some ammo. Glad we did. A little bit of active ammo is just always nice. Now that we don't have a massive amount of ammo we're picking up from nearby us. Right, let's go get our car first. I want to see what's in the trunk. Alright, anything in the trunk? That is literally the gas that we needed. <laughs> Perfect. I was just concerned about not having gas for the repair van. Which, actually, no, it does have gas. I don't know if that's enough gas, but it does have gas. There's a bunch of stuff I scavenged. Hey, here we go, Malik. Well done. Some stamina. We can't just sprint the whole time here. Hello. <laughs> oh, we got a bloater. Is that a bloater? Yep, I saw him first, Quincy. Oh, jeez. Two hordes and a bloater. Lost. Bad. Run, run, run. Alright, we made it. Yeah, filling up with more gas would be I smart. Gotta rest for a second. We're gonna have to go and clear out that horde, unfortunately. This might be a hot salvage opportunity. Ooh, supply run. We're gonna go for that. That might be good to do on our way home. Um, just going back there. There's the blue house. The blue? Wait, that's just next door. <laughs> Wait a second. What? Cool. I guess we missed some food. I mean, hey, I'll always take the free, free stuff. I don't mind. Let's go ahead and refuel this bad boy. We'll double check our inventory here and what we've got. But I think we're going to jump to the... Swine and bovine over here, yeah. Let's move that swine and bovine here. Or what is this? Yeah, swine and bovine. Check this out. Yeah, that's the blood plague one right there, right? Yeah. We don't wanna we don't wanna fight zombies in that plague zone. What a pile of crap. <laughs> I mean it is literally it's just random parts. Nailed it. I do like that we can fast search with Quincy, no problem. Doesn't cause any issues. Some lighting. Oh, wait, we can go up? Oh, okay. Well, we'll do that in a second. No more deadheads around here. Clear that first. Let's go check upstairs first. What we got? I'm assuming nothing. I guess it's a place to hide if uh, it gets a little too overwhelming down there. That makes sense. All right. Can we find any ethanol? Is there just hey, like a bucket? Oh, food, nice. Like that, was it? Oh, I guess that completed that quest, huh? <laughs> Got packaged snacks, okay. Is there just like a bucket of fruit somewhere that's like made ethanol on its own? It's like fermented by itself, no help needed. Be great. We've milked this place dry. All right, we got some decent items in here, but no ethanol. It's hopeful. He's on. Come on when you get a chance. We got a visitor. Reba. It's me. Yes. Don't worry. I ain't gonna ask you to get anything for me this time. Nice. Okay, we need to get back and see if we can get Reba to join us. We need her on board. She's our game hunter. We can upgrade our kitchen with her. Hello? Can you join me? Or not. You can go around. He's he had arm day today. He can't he can't jump over the barrier right now. He's a little too tired. Nice! Endurance is maxed. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and loot everything that we can on our way no in. More Zeds to kill? Fine by me. Nice. We'll loot everything we can on our way in. You know, save us a save us a trip, yeah. But we need to get over there to Reba as soon as we can. Uh oh. That marked. Yeah, so she's just 
hanging out. Perfect. Definitely water on board. Ooh, bundle of pipes. I'll take that. We're getting a lot of parts right now, which is a snackable item. I don't have to worry too much about inventory yet. I can still hit up another one or two here. Alright, nope. And two. And two. And. Whoop. There we go. And it moves so good. Just instantly ensures that they're not going to be able to do anything. Okay. Um, oh, we didn't actually finish this, did we? I'm really hoping we don't have to deal with that board over there. And we can. Be a bit of a pain. They'll just kind of go off on their own. That's right, we didn't actually finish clearing this place when we came here for the quest. So let's go ahead and do that. This place looks worth some effort. Yeah. We probably won't be able to carry it. Well, actually, we might be able to just barely carry everything. We've got four inventory slots left in the car, and we have four in no six, more in sight. six inventory slots on us. It. Actually, we might be able to carry it. We've got ten inventory slots. Oh my goodness, we got it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the search is over. We've been looking for ethanol for so long. I cannot believe it, we found it. Oh my goodness. What a relief, jeez. I was I was under the impression we just might never find any ethanol at this point. I was starting to give up hope. But we managed to find it. Oh, it's amazing. Alright, let's go drop off this. We'll come back and grab some more. <laughs> yes! All right, we can get the still upgraded, and then we can start looking into making luxury goods so we can get more tradable currency. Very nice. Get ourselves more influence, be able to go and buy more add-ons, because there's a bunch of add-ons we still just don't have, or at least rather there's a lot of facilities that don't have add-ons yet, which I would like to get as soon as we can. Boxes. Ooh, an oversized mall. I might just break those down. I don't really like using the oversized weapons. Nice. The hang of fertilizer. Good. We actually don't need this. We already bought one. What a bummer we didn't check this and find this while we were here. We ended up buying it instead, but that's okay. One last uh there you guess one last shelf. Hurts? Ethanol. I think we've scavenged Parts. everything this place had. Perfect. We're out of here. All right, let's head home. Head home, drop stuff off, start up the still, which I'm sure Reba's gonna love, and then uh, we try and recruit Reba. I need to go and repair this thing so we get that extra light back on. All right, so we can run over zombies now. Oh, that was all that was left of the horde. I saw the horde on the map. I thought it was going to be something bad. Oh, I thought it was going to be something bad, but no, it was just two zombies left of the horde. Must have cleared most of it when we were here for the quest. Oh! Surprise! <laughs> the old juggernaut. Alright. Lighting through. Alright. We've acquired the loot mobile. Oh, I'm so happy. We've got the loot mobile and we've got ethanol. Amazing. I don't know if there's anything else we can use the fertilizer bag that we got on, so we might end up just selling that. I guess we could make like a hydroponic spay or something if we wanted to for like medicine production. Uh, or a garden, maybe, for that as well. I don't know. Almost forgot about the big boy. Yeah. The big boy's around here. Yeah, so other than... No, I, I think fertilizer actually only helps with food, right? I'm thinking on it. They increase food yield only. Yeah, so I don't know if there's ever going to be time in which we need more food yield. We already produce a ridiculous amount of food. We're producing 15 food a day, so unless we have more than... <laughs> unless we have more than 15 survivors... 
I, I cannot see why we would need to have another arm. So I guess we'll just sell this one. Oh no. He's in like the worst position. Oh! No! No! no. He's got me T-boned! Back up! Shit! We Back. needed that! Get out! Run! We have to we have to pull him! Oh no! And he's plagued the car too. Oh no! The big boy. He managed to do a pit maneuver on us. That didn't work at all. Problem is we're carrying a lot of heavy stuff. Go, 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 go. No, oh, keep, no. Turn around. Well, this isn't. Oh my good gracious! Okay, we're gonna have to run him further. This, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> he just keeps clipping me. Up we go. Come here. Yeah, what you gonna do now, big man? That's right. Be grumpy. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to ring around the Rosie here and try and get in the car quickly. Was there a guy that followed us over there? No, okay, the path's still clear. It's just us and the big man. Actually, I think he lost sight of us by us. Nope, no, he definitely hurt us. Run. Run. Thank goodness this thing. Can't we kill it? We could, but it's gonna use, like, most of our ammo. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going for that right now. Because I'm worried if we, if we end up in a situation where we try and take him out, we don't actually have enough ammo, because I end up missing his head too much or something. Life can get hard real fast. Also, we have enough blood plague on us, I'm not really confident. But we could just stand on top of there and just shoot him above, true. And it's true. Uh, if we had a semi-automatic weapon instead of this bolted weapon, Bolt action guy. I feel more inclined. The other thing is we're heavily encumbered. We're, we've got fertilizer and a, uh, a supply rucksack on us. We're, we're very much encumbered. Let's actually uh, move in over here. Move on this side. Alright. We made it back in one piece. Amazing. Pop those off. This repair kit. I hope you don't mind me showing up like this. Ah, you're good. Kind of feel weird about it. Ah, Reba, you feel as weird as you want. Hey there, superstar. We are happy to have you. All right. Nice. Got a, both of our lights back on. Oh, we got too much material in material storage. Okay, we'll have to get that sorted. As well. Let's take a quick look at what we got. Oh no, material storage is actually at exactly what we want. 35. But I guess we do technically get one extra a day right now. Where is that? Okay. So, go back to the shooting range. No mods of use. Uh, let's continue to get shooting skill done. Important. Um, is there anything else we want to make? We can make ammo, right? Moon rounds. Chemicals and parts. What are we doing on chemicals? Go check that. We can make chemicals out of... We can make three cases of chemicals out of three things of medicine, which is a very, very bad conversion rate. It is awful. Well, let's go ahead and clear that blood plate we got. Okay, so we actually have what we need to upgrade this. So we can go to a barracks 2... Which will give us the extra, what, two beds that we need? Oh, that's right. Uh, because of Helena, we actually have two spare beds. That's right. We go ahead, we can upgrade to that. Or we can upgrade to a higher morale boost in just one. Which I think is worth it. Eventually, we'll move to the Spartan Barracks. But I don't think we need to until we like actually need to. So let's go ahead and do this instead. Uh, we need more workers for this. It's fine. The still, we need more workers for this. Okay. All right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and just make some more. Cool. Why not? We got enough food. 
can always use more fuel. We can get 100 and something additional in there. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, Reba, what's going on? Let's get you aboard. How can I convince you? New faces around here. Look, you folks are probably my last chance of having any friends out here. I've burned all my other bridges. Say no more. Welcome to the team. Oh my goodness. Want to stay friends? I don't have room for you right now. No, no, no. Stay no more. Welcome to the team. Sharpshooting butchery. Right. I'm assuming that's just bladed weapons and the like. Look. Say no more. Are, Get in here. I know I'm not the easiest to live with sometimes, but I'll make it worth your while. Nice Don't you worry. Blood around here. Welcome aboard. All right. New facilities available. Excellent. No longer have. Oh, that's right. We no longer have water supply. That's fine. Achievement unlocked. The Grumpy Hunter. Recruit Reba. Perfect. Yeah, so she's not, she's no longer supplying base-wide water, but that's okay, because this bad boy here can activate base-wide water. How's it going, Rude? How are you doing today? Sitting pretty good on materials? Yeah, yeah. Our supplies are looking real good right now. Okay, so with her, how do we not have enough hands? Yes, yeah, four hands. Okay, converting fuel and shooting range is both being used to cancel that. Now we have enough hands. Oh, wait, this uses ethanol. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, we only we only have enough ethanol for one of these upgrades. We could upgrade this here, and this lets us do what? Beasts for morale boost. Also boosts food storage. Um, yeah, we can do that later. I want the still. We're upgrading the still too. Get that bad boy done first. Highest priority. We got to get this thing running. All right. Might be time to swap out from the gatekeeper here. From a bolt action to a semi. We've got ARs. Less power, but we can shoot significantly faster. We use 556. What's our 556 stockpile look like? That's fine. About equivalent to our 762s. I'm a huge fan of 762s, though. These are also significantly lighter. It's nice. I do like that we have a couple armor piercing rounds for our Timber Wolf. I'd make my dad drive all the way out here after church. The last time I was One slightly less accurate. Looks like the Raiders is less accurate. Also, it looks like the capacity size is the difference here. Slightly reduc slight reduction in accuracy between the two versus having an extra 20 bullets in the chamber. Eh, it seems like a worthwhile trade-off to me. All right, let's go ahead and let's swap on over the Raiders. Uh, and since this thing can actually break, let's go and get a better suppressor. Edge. We need nines and five. Oh, I can't take this off of burst. I'd really like this to be a semi automatic. Yeah, it's fully automatic modified. Okay, so that's why the. Okay, I see, I see. This thing's specifically designed that way. All right, so we'll stick with the standard AR then. Since this guy, I think, can be actually semi. Oh no, it just is semi-automatic, okay. So one has the option, so okay, so just one is fully automatic, one is semi-automatic, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that's okay. We have a couple less bullets. Twenty in the chamber, less, but my last semi-automatic, which I significantly build prefer. This place up. Fully automatic hands up spraying it. so many spare bullets all over the place, I just end up missing. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of missing. All right, it's in good condition. One repair for that. This okay, we're in, we're in good condition on everything here. All right, base is going well. Upgrades are slowly moving along. Uh, we actually need to go and get ourselves a larger outpost set up. So we can go and work on this next. More materials, perfect. We're gonna need even more materials though. So, How'd that jingle go? 
Oh, did this actually reset the possibility of we of us finding food here? Okay. I didn't expect that. Oh, got an actual orb back here. Hold on. Bunk. Can't zoom in with this thing. Let me go back to that bolt action. They got this core, get some more influence. Ah, shit, a bloater! Wait, where? There. Alright. Weird. Yeah, I think I swap over. Yeah, standard AR should be semi auto. Just like real? Yeah, just like IRL. Yeah, I definitely prefer semi automatic guns in this game. It's because, since bullets are a resource, right? Since we, since you don't just find bullets for the gun that you're using, just haphazardly strewn around the map. I really prefer having something with a little more control, so I'm not just blasting through everything immediately. Or being like, oh no, I can't, I can't fight this creature because I don't have no any more in sight. Let's make the most of it. Where's that? Ah, there it is. The bridge. Good thing I didn't get my hopes up. I wonder if it just instantly makes it a zero, uh, makes it a, a flat out nothing. Oh, hello. I wonder if it makes it a flat out nothing after the. Oh my goodness, there's a barrel here too. After uh, we finish the quest. Somewhere else. Man, if we had our gatekeeper, I would have taken this guy out already. That have big one is on carrying it. blood plague. I'm sure of it. There we go. Right, bunch. All right. Proper maintenance effects have changed. Let's jump inside here real quick. Maybe we go and we just get a. Uh, Wait, see if we can get like a heavier duty pistol. Maybe. Maybe that's what we go for. Or else you'd have three of your inventory slots filled with an ammo. Yeah, that's exactly right. I'd, I'd just be jingling. I wouldn't be able to stealth. There'd be no stealth in this game. I'd just be the sound of jingling ammo. <laughs> yeah, it would be best with games uh, games with bullet scarcity. Yeah. Uh, what I'm wondering is... We, have, we don't have any other better pistols. I was hoping for... Like a magnum or something. Then our M17 compared to the G34. Just the difference is just the quietness on it. Durability, range. You get a little more range with the G34, so I'm actually swap this sucker out. Yeah, let's go swap this one out. Attach this guy. Right, because now the quietness is the same. Because it was just the uh, the suppressor on there. Then we'll swap you out. We'll attach you back on here. Now you can see this thing significantly less quiet. Oh no, wait. Is the range reduced because of the suppressor? Am I just being a dingus? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright. No, it does have a better base default range. It does have a better base default range. Okay. Yeah, it has the effective range. But it does have a better base range. Okay, good, good. Its durability is just a little less. And that's okay. We can look at that. And you use 9 mils. Okay. Perfect. And reload you. Do it in full. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I guess we'll use this AR on the on the big man. I do like sniping though when we get the opportunity to. Unfortunately we can't do that with this guy. But we can hit him from the top of the good old Bronto. This might be a hot salvage opportunity. Ooh. Things are getting better all the time. Might just make it. Where at? Where do you want me to go? <laughs> you want us to steal from him? A little bit of fuel? Yeah, we could do that. 
Papa by, hey neighbors, don't mind me, I'm just gonna rummage through this, uh, this shed next to you, um, looks like there's some stuff I want in there. <laughs> um, only way autos would be good is if uh, your base was like a National Guard armory with tens of thousands of rounds available, yeah, really. Or, yeah, or an ammo factory, where we can just keep making more bullets. Alright. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now we can make food into fuel. There it is. Food into ethanol. That's what I was looking for. All right. And then we can take... Uh, we can take ethanol and make a jug of handmade whiskey and a bottle of, bottle of decent bourbon. Continue with water. Huge. Okay, this is, this is why we wanted to do the ethanol production first. Because we needed this. It does cost us one material per day to keep this up and running, but that's perfectly fine because we still have the staging area. That's still offsetting all the upkeep. So our material upkeep is still being offset by the staging area, absorbing all three. Yes, this is just going to go on forever. We're going to constantly be doing that. I think we have three ethanol right now, so us going and making five, that's enough for the actual upgrade itself. So yeah, it'll be good. This is going to be great. All right, let's go ahead and stand at the back of the Bronco here and... Take this guy out. I don't know if I can get a good angle on his head here. I'm gonna have to back up. This is when a sniper would be a little better. Bonk. I need to get a little closer. <laughs> and if he's able to see us... What was that noise? It sounded... I mean, it, it sounded like a... Like a dinosaur, so I, maybe it's the, the Bronto people. gas? Great attitude. I love this group. Maybe? Hey. Hey. I'm not too sure what that was. Yeah, the lack of ethanol seems like a real bottleneck. Yeah, a lot of our facilities require ethanol to upgrade. Sometimes we'd fill up our trucks here. Turns out, kids like fire trucks even more than dinosaurs. It's fruit. Fire trucks are cool. Damn, too loud. All right. Just have to get him from the side here, then. He's got some good stopping power. Made him made him think twice. Let's do a quick reload. I don't think I have enough ammo on me, honestly. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's not good. Ah, shit, a floater. Floater where? Oh, jeez, where I'm running to, that's not good. This last man count. Bring around the Rosie. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I did not bring enough ammo. The big man. Is that enough? No, it's still not enough. This gun's dry. Okay. Got him. Just a pistol. Lift here. Jeez, this is another one. Oop. Don't you do that? That's definitely really bad. For me. Shotgun guy's not helping as much as I'd like. Ah, got him. Okay. Jeez. Fight in the hat. Ooh, all right. Got our 50 influence. Oh, Happy about that. Yeah, we've almost we got three thousand almost three thousand five hundred influence. Good golly. We got a lot on hand. Alright, we took one hit. This wasn't too bad. Could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. Load. Load back up. Alright, let's make some more fives. And our production five. 
Oh my goodness, hello and welcome Raiders. Hello and welcome Deadly Deal Gaming. How are you all doing today? Hello, hello. How was your stream? I'm assuming you were playing State of Decay 2. If you weren't, what were you playing instead? And thanks for the follow, I appreciate that. Welcome. This is my first time playing Heartland. And my second time playing this game. We played State of Decay, the standard campaign first, and then we've jumped into this, so I still don't know a lot of things. Still don't know a lot of things. We're learning as we go. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Um, what difficulty do you play on? Give me that ethanol. It takes so long. It's fine. We're going to need it. We need all the ethanol we can get. Yeah, we'll upgrade to the Spartan Barracks later on. There's not really anything. We, can... we need more mods. Oh, my goodness. You just started on Monday? Nice. How are you liking the game so far? I am loving this game. I'm having an absolute blast with it. Right, not storage. Ah, this is what we need. We need to upgrade this bad boy so we can get more uh, outposts. So we need to get that set up. Get that up and running here. And Guildmaster, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. It's a great game. It's such a good game. I love games that involve building, like, a homestead of some kind and a whole bunch of looting. And this game is, like, that's literally the entire game loot mechanic. It's, it's good just, that we got hey, this place up and running we again. need you to go and loot stuff. Better than leaving it because we need to make home. sure that the base doesn't fall apart. Hey, the base could use an upgrade. Do you want to upgrade the base? Hey, you gotta get more loot to do that, too. I'm loving it. <laughs> Actually, we are all we just started playing Raft yesterday, too, for our Monday-Tuesday time slot for our games. And I'm having a lot of fun with that game, too, for pretty much the exact same reason. It's just, like, constant looting. So good. Check out this building over here. Yeah, we're playing the Heartland DLC. Yeah, yeah. Which, I don't know exactly... So we're in Trumbull Valley, so I don't know exactly what like the story is and the like. But apparently, this is... That's in between uh, State of Decay 1 and 2. This is the, the in-between times. And it seems like it's stu stuck on... What was it? Nightmare difficulty? Is the difficulty setting we're playing on? It's the default. As you can see, there's there's no controls to change the difficulty setting. Heartland was where State of Decay 1 started. Ah, okay, cool. So it's like the true OG map then. Very nice. Alright, so let's go and grab this here. Actually, we can just swing by the farmer and like sell him some fertilizer because we literally cannot use two bags of it. At least not with any good reason. Oh, we can also actually sell off some of our other junk here. Vix pack, we're gonna hold on to it for. because we can. Quincy's large backpack, weight 12. We'll still hold on to it for now. Home's backpack, hiking backpack, weight 8. Yeah, this this back 12 will sell eventually, but not quite yet. Alright, the fertilizer we literally cannot use with our current setup. A bit. Um, we have a generator already, so we don't really need the purple generator, but we'll hold on to it just in case there's a quest for us to drop one off. The salvage furnace is a mod for workshops, but we dropped that for some reason. I can't remember what it is. We can take one of the coolers, actually. We can take both the coolers. We actually don't need it. We have a still. Coolers are not worth our time. We can go sell this. We actually have a lot more chems than I thought we did. That's great. That's really good. What do we do? Ah, okay. We ended up going for the hand drill instead of going with the salvage furnace. We're not really breaking down weapons at the moment, so we don't really need it. That's fine. Yeah, we can go ahead and sell this stuff off. Is there anything else we want to sell off? Heartland was where City of Decay 1 started. That's so cool. Yeah, no, so... So now I'm thinking about it. I remember there being, like, on the radios and whatnot, them talking about Trumbull Valley all the time, and now we're in Trumbull Valley. Okay, so gas is still fine. We don't have to worry about pulling gas, but I will take one for the car. Oop. We'll take one for the car. We're still good on snacks... We can go clean that up if we want to, but it'll be a quick trip. I'm not too worried about us getting blood plague. What's our durability on here? Repair 3, 11, 6. Now we're fine now. Hey, I just delivered some good stuff. Hey, we'll take those painkillers. Everything else is kind of meh. I don't really use any of the fireworks or anything. You know, it's... I'm really gone with any of those. They'll if we start you at the tomorrow. ranger station in the first game, and then work your way into town. Ah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll take the... Oh, uh, well, let's take the big... Let's. We might loot something while we're out there. Let's go take the loot mobile. Yeah. Got a spare thing of gas, because we'll probably fill up once we get there. Put ourselves back up after we've used some. Be 
be coming through. So, Deadly Dill, since you've only been playing this game since yesterday, uh, or two days ago, since two days ago, or technically three days, depending on what time zone you're in, what is your go-to setup? Do you like bladed weapons? Do you like blunt weapons? Are you a pistol, a uh, pistol wielder? Do you use like the big old rifles? I'll need to use that one again. Oh my, there's actually a lot more over here than I was expecting. Zed's got nothing on me. I love the endurance trait because we just flip them over. Which helps us get a lot more space. We're in a position where we have plenty of ammo, so I'm, I'm perfectly willing to use this. Always got to loot while you're out? Yeah. You never know Nothing what you that. might find. No more in sight. Let's make the no. most of it. So I'm assuming it always ends up being nothing. I'm assuming it always ends up being nothing whenever they, like, give you a spot to loot for a... Hello? <laughs> Dodging and rolling over here. Quick, dodge the car while it's stationary. Upgraded this. Can we upgrade it again? No, we can't. Alright. Alright, to the farmer. But yeah, no, it's always important to loot while you're out and about. It just saves you having to do additional trips. It saves you on gas, because that's one of the big things is you start blasting through gas really, really fast. You can run around the map in, on, in its entirety on foot, but it's just tough. Okay, right. let's take out this guy. If we can. We just managed to with the amount of bullets that we had back at base. So I'm assuming we can do it here too. You got curveball on? Yes. But I don't know if curveball is something we can have on uh, on this game mode actually. We haven't had a single curveball and there's not even a curveball menu option here in the Heartland DLC. Uh, there was when we played our last playthrough though. Our first playthrough? There was. Those curveballs were nuts. Some of those were absolutely punishing. I did not dodge that. If I keep dancing with the plague sets, I'm done for it. We'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Just us and him. Come on, get on your knees. Get down, sir. There we go. Nice. More accurate this time. We stayed a little closer. Yeah, it worked out a lot better. Plague samples. Oh. <laughs> I'm on my last mag. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that reload that I just saw, but that <laughs> we had our clip floating over our head for a second. Right, so we clear this out, give it a little more influence. Alright, we'll just, just use a bit of gunslinging here, it's fine. Gunslinging is so good. I love gunslinging. Whenever, whenever we end up having problems with ferals, I don't really use it much for anything else though. But whenever we're dealing with ferals, my goodness, gunslinging just saves our hide every time. It is just so good. I'm gonna get on over to our friend the farmer. Ooh, that's a, that is what we call a bloater. We will cut through the farmer's fields. Hope you don't mind. Coming in bearing gifts. How's it going, Xander? Oops. Actually, yeah, Xander, do you have a couple of bullets to spare? <laughs> I brought a few friends. This guy's gunsling. I don't want. To... We're actually getting a little low on ammo. Need to be a little more careful. All right, go save Xander. Xander, no dying. Not allowed to die, buddy. Unk. Clear? Okay. Alright, hang on a second. Let me go grab the goods. 
Heavy damn load. All right, we got ourselves some cotton swabs. A bit of alcohol. You interested in trading? No problem. Got 500. Oh my good grief. Where'd you get all this ammo? Where'd all this ammo come from? What? Holy jeez, my man. All right, perfect. 479. Very nice. Um, that's a lot of ammo. We definitely do not need ammo. The whole bunch of stash of civilian ammo. Okay. But we're not going to buy anything from them. Unfortunately. I was hoping we might, might, just might maybe have something on hand for us. But that's okay. Uh, what we can do instead is we can shoot on up here. Where we're going to go and get some fuel. Uh, at Santa's Garage. Oh, yeah. Ethanol acquired. Which means we're doing it again. We'll make some whiskey in the lake in a moment, but let's just stockpile some ethanol right now. It's literally food to ethanol, and we have way more food incoming than, than we could possibly use. Like 15 food a day? It's ridiculous. We do not need that much food. Like this is an orchard. We can clear out this guy, and then we can go do some beefs. Yes. Up, up on the car. And just use our ears when they get nearby. Crack. Base. So, our food production, we have a spare five a day. Crazy. Uh, which we can improve with boosting yields. Basic kitchen, we can upgrade the kitchen. And move it closer to eat. Alright. Uh, let's see. Shooting. We do want to get more shooting going. And something else for us to do here. Uh, let's go and do wits for a bit. Start focusing on upgrading everyone's wits here. Uh, if we upgrade this increases morale boost, we get an additional bed. I think we'll do that more so than upgrading food right now. We don't need that quite yet. Let's go ahead and get the lounge upgraded first with that ethanol. Yeah, use it or lose it pretty much. Yeah. Go ahead and we'll do that. So let's get this guy upgraded with the ethanol we've got now. And then when we get this ethanol in 13, we'll go get that running. Uh, power's off right now. Let's go turn that on, please. There's no reason for us to never have this power. Like, this thing should be on at all times. It costs us a fuel, and we get four fuel a day for free. There's literally zero reason for us to not have power on at all times. Okay. Go take you out. Quincy is so good. He, he's our he's our top zombie exterminator. He is our our best zombie uh, our best looter. Right, he's the best at looting, and he gives the ability for everyone to sneak and pick locks. It's Ridiculous. This guy is just Looks so like good to the party. Free now. Give me the fuel. Now why doesn't that happen more often? And we apparently can't uh, can't make noise when we do fast looting either, which is huge. Go we'll take out that little horde over here. Get some more influence and see if we can buy anything from these guys before we leave. Off field upgrade. Bam! Exterminated. Got any parts? Yeah. Okay. He's just too good. <laughs> I can't stop playing with this guy. Can't stop being this guy. He's so good. Especially since in this DLC we can't get tired. Which is really weird. I'm not, I'm not used to that. After in the main game, you know, your guy's constantly like, oh my goodness, I need a break. In this game, nope. No, you just keep on going. I heard something weird. I did. Ah, shit! A feral. Now go for the head. This is why we. This is why we have him, and this is why he has gunslinging. Is exclusively for them. Like the main reason. 
I'm the rest. Like gunslinging is great for everything else, but like the number the number one reason why is because of ferals. Otherwise, we would need to have semi-automatic like rifles or something. Maybe even shotguns whenever we're going to be dealing with ferals, just to ensure we take them out. So good. Uh, if you get tired of keeping water and power on, you can always finish the story with a builder. Uh, you can use that perk card to get free water on your next playthrough. Yes, we did. We just can't in the DLC. The DLC is completely isolated from everything else in the main campaign. But yes, we did the whole playthrough as a warlord and then swapped over to a builder at the very, very end. Because uh, I was told that would let us then get the uh, free water and power. So we don't have to spend two outposts on it. Right? Oh my goodness, two outposts nice is so expensive. Again, my friend. Let's help each other out. That All right, what you got, buddy? Right. What is this? An oh, what countertop oven? A small but functional baking oven. Install this mod in the kitchen facility to gain the ability to use a small, a little food for a long morale boost. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy that. Thank you. Huge. All right, let's head home. Hey you. Get down. How's it going, Green? How you doing today? Can you now do fire launcher? No, no. We can't do any any of that stuff in the DLC. Can't do any of that stuff in the DLC. We can't call in those uh, those types of favors and the like. Nope. Won't let us. It's only in the main campaign, not in the DLC thing that we're playing right now. There's a lot of stuff that's um, just like locked. Like we just we just can't even do it. It's not part of it. Got OG man. Uh, no carryover from the gear then? Yeah, no carryover, nothing. Starting from, just perfectly from scratch, which I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying it. I like to start from scratch. But we did save a handful of our community members in the length for, you know, if we end up doing a future playthrough on the regular campaign, we can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and use some of our top tier guys. Good old Gordo. Okay, so let's. Oh, um, yeah. We should. We should probably pick these. All right. Back her up. We'll repair their faces real quick. There. Use a good old repair van. Oh, perfect. Also, a screamer over here. If I ain't clear, careful. Man. I'm gonna catch the plague soon. Nah, you'll be fine, buddy. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I think we're gonna six. Okay, I was gonna say. Wait a second. Totally had that lined up. Took too many shots. That's a Oh, another screamer. Oh, there he is. Oh. Got him. You're off the bin. Work comes early. All right. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it, Killmaster. We'll see you around. Okay. Open both doors next time? How do you open up both doors? Hey! Achievement unlocked. Kill 25 Plague Screamers. Nice. Uh, how do you... It, it, what do you do to open up both? I am unaware of the, the buttons needed to open up the passenger door. I only know of opening up your door. Yeah, more surface area would be great. Yeah, this is the first upgrade here. All right, but we can upgrade you. This food, okay, is it dehydrated? Does that have to stay in the food? Or does that have to stay in the kitchen? Or can we use dehydrator elsewhere? No, it just requires power. We get bonus food. Okay, nice. We'll go ahead and use this. Uses food and fuel for boost. That installed. Uh, this already has a mini fridge. This is already got something in it. Can't attach here. Oh. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll attach it. Oh, we can't do this here. Oh, it is only kitchen or related facility. Okay. 
food storage or the or an ability. I think the ability is going to be more important. Also, how much does this do? Two food, two meds. Or five food, five meds. Five food, five meds. Probably better than the ten food that we were looking at before. Still at 50 food storage currently. I think we're okay. I think it's fine. With controls, uh, you drive with an Xbox controller? Ah, okay. Can't quite tell. Let's take a look. Settings, controls. Uh, remap controls. Here we go. Alright. Turbo. <laughs> Also known as sprinting. Gotta gotta put our legs into turbo over here. Alright, melee attacks, struggle, grapple, finisher, shooting stuff, items, vehicles. Door melee. Yep, we got door melee. Changing seats, exit vehicles, horn, transfer the locker. Looks like we can only open one door. I don't see anything that indicates an additional door. Uh, we need a follower to open up the other door, I think. If we have a follower with us when we open our door, I think they usually open their door too. But usually I'm running around solo. All right, what's her, what's her stats here? What's she got? She ran her own diner. She's a survival hunter and she doesn't get along. All right, survival hunter. 50% of food consumption per day, that's quite nice. And keep their morale at 30 plus to avoid conflicts. Whoa. Okay. Yikes. All right. I think we can do that. We're not in a position where we're struggling with keeping people happy, but it needs to be 30 plus. Goodness. We're at 61 right now. Uh, let's go turn the tap back on. Uh, ethanol. We should have enough ethanol to upgrade that now. What do we need for this? No, we need actually a lot more ethanol. Train all, train all skills. Huge morale boost. Movie nights for morale. Train videos for... Oh my goodness, it's huge. And also, look at all this improvement. I guess we could just put that generator on there if we wanted to. Just burn a little bit of extra gas for no good reason. Yeah, we need, we need more. We need more mods. Gotta get more mods. Okay, so I think right now we're not gonna... We're not gonna continue to work on the ethanol to whiskey. We're just gonna keep blasting ethanol. We're going to go through as much food as we possibly can. Just keep getting ethanol running in here. Guess how it works? Okay, so we need another person. Yeah, I don't like taking people with me strictly because they're constantly a liability. They're constantly a liability. And it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to replace people as easily in this DLC. This place. A lot of what? sad ones, too. What am I searching for? Oh, deliver. We can offload our stuff. Oops. I hope nothing heard that. My bad. Bad preference. For the van. Perfect. Let's drop this off. The more for us, the less oh. for the other guys. Fly run completed. Extra 100 influence, we like that. A bunch more plague cure, which is always good. Oh, let's see here. If we go over to community here, Quincy could definitely use a break. Who can we? Who do we need to upgrade on citizen to uh, hero? One extra med a day, 20 extra health. It's pretty good. An extra food a day, hunting trips. This is how I ran the meat of the week special back at the diner. However, I brought uh, whatever I brought home for my weekend hunts. Okay. How's it going, bad scuba dealer? How you doing today? I didn't hear the sound pop up. Was was that just me? Did anyone else hear a hello there? Need more van to store rucksacks at base? True, yeah, having spare rucksacks at base for overload, uh, overflow would be nice to have. Facility action speed is faster, and we already got the patrols. I think facility action speed is probably what we should do next. There's so many stupid little things we have to do every day. Let me try and eliminate a couple. Yeah, I think action speed. Let's work on that one next. And then maybe we do health after that. And then meds. We're not really struggling on meds. We're definitely not struggling on food. So those are those are low priorities. We can try and level her up and get things done here. So let's go ahead and assume direct control. Is running real low. Actually, we need to go and take that guy's ammo first. Quincy, real quick, before you go anywhere. 
Uh, I'm gonna need yeah, Quincy. Like, Quincy, I'm, I'm gonna need all of this ammo. I can't carry all that. All right. On, on your on your way. On with your day. With that. Something else we need to do here for Quincy is actually we need to get him in bed. I'm gonna go get checked out. Yeah, you Make need to get sure checked out pretty badly here, buddy. So, crafting. So if we can just, hmm, we don't have a reliable way to make chemicals, but we have a reliable way to make ethanol. That's a good step in the right direction here. Okay. Let's take a look here. So we've got a good a lightweight one. We've got a screwdriver on you. We can go get that sorted. A chef's knife, screwdriver. We'll get a K-bar on you. An actual proper weapon. Uh, these screwdrivers, let's go ahead and salvage these. We got a chef's knife on hand. And everyone starts with one of them, so salvage those. Got a little wrench. I don't know, do you want to stick with a pipe wrench? I'm going to go to the back. Durability goes way down, but everything else is actually the same other than ease of use. Weight goes down, though. Five to three. That's nice, but it's actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. Wow, the wrench is actually just better. It's just, just better other than weight. It's just better. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Let it be. Uh, what do we have here? We've got weak painkillers. Drop those off. Let's give you regular painkillers. She's got pockets, so she can carry a lot more, which is good. All right, let's take a look at weaponry here. So she's currently using a G35, it's G34, which is perfectly acceptable. We don't really have any other options other than the M15, uh, M17, which we found we're not too happy with. And then we got the 1022 carbine. We have a lot more options now than when we first got her in here. Maybe we're going to give her something else. Using a 22 is not really the best. We were using the big Hank rifle at the start, which is nice. Little lever action, boy. What is this? Less power, it's just way quieter, higher durability. Fire rate's way less. It's just that's just bad in comparison. We like the twenty the ten twenty two, it's really good. I do want to jump back over to using the Hank though. Although do we have any three fifty sevens? We have three fifty seven HPs. Little hollow points. Yeah, it's a lever action, so it's lower fire rate. More reload. The range is significantly better, though. Let's yeah, swap on over. Swap on over there. There's that gatekeeper we were using earlier. Range is less. Okay, good. We got one full stack. Uh, let's go and make some more of these while we're here. 22s, here we go. 357 Magnum rounds. The two sets of those. We're still doing well on ammo. Not too worried. We'll need to start picking up some more ammo soon, though, since we are going through a lot of it with the range. Let's keep getting our wits training going. Good, good. I found some things that just might be useful. Reload. Let's make sure we're completely topped off. We have so many 22s, actually. <laughs> we might need to start using 22s because we have 268 of those rounds. Okay. Backpack. Okay, so we need to go and get more materials. We're down to three materials left. Yikes, we did blast to do this so quickly. All right, so we can go and do that, or we can do a little more scouting, searching, hunting for things. Our bloater we skipped. We could go back down here and scout and scavenge. But I'd rather go north. Clear out this zone over here. There's a couple of places that we should find some materials in. Look at this maintenance shed. Construction site. Yeah, let's go hit up some of these spots up here. I got a lot of happy memories of this place. A lot of sad ones, too. Now, what are the main things that we need to level her up on? Looting and melee fighting. All right, we can do that. Looting and melee fighting are the main things we want to focus on with her. So, gunplay if we have to, 
But looting and melee fighting is the go-to. That was the wrong way to back up. That's okay. Oh, hang on. There's some free influence here. I see a screamer. Did I, well, am I able to put a silencer on this gun? I'm gonna check that real quick before we leave. Oof. Ooh, that was close. I it. I can't. I don't have a mod on here. Let me go grab a mod. Oh, there's no screamer right there, too. I'm surprised you didn't start screaming. Welcome to day seven. Bunch of stuff. Wait, 49 parts? That's kind of weird. We get 100 parts a day. <laughs> Why 49? For our first half of them. Weird. We could get a break on this, or we can just go with the silence. Uh, I think... So... Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the break, and we'll take the advanced... Press. Actually, we don't need to, because this thing doesn't take any damage. So we can take the, the hand maple. Let's go ahead and we'll put you on here. We'll put you on here. We'll get the break on the pistol. Ah, while we're here, we might as well pop off, right? Go ahead and get our spear bullets. Might as well top off. My teacher never let me draw dinosaurs in class. I hope the zombies ate Mr. Howard first. Oh my goodness, Malik. I'm <laughs> full of malice. Alright, off we go. Go pick up some materials. And again, if we find any screamers, we're definitely going to pop out and take them down. If we find any hordes, same thing. We need to get her leveled up so we can go ahead and get that extra bonus. Getting that action speed's going to be really nice. Essentially having the amount of time it takes for us to get stuff done in base. So an action speed, I believe, is also what's used for, like, making ethanol and the like. So we'll be able to start just churning through that a lot faster. Okay. Here we are. Animan truck here to pick up some materials. Nice. Not bad timing for us to have that ethanol finished. I want to get another one started immediately. Uh oh, calling call the troops. Yep. Big whips. This is why I love blunt weapons. You can hit so many of them at one time. Quick clear. Oh my goodness, what? I guess that's her being a gymnast. That's really cool. Doesn't have marathon, but she's got gymnasts. We can we can dodge roll out of things. That's cool. Back up. Get some more stamina here real quick. Ah, swung at me first. Monster. That's okay. I'm not too worried about blood plague. We've got four cures back home and plenty of uh, plenty of material to go ahead and make. Cool. Now, as long as you don't get like grabbed and bitten, we'll be fine. There to specialize. Nice. That's damn. We can't uh, do can't do any quick kills. Oh my goodness! Can't believe she actually got that swing off. <laughs> I thought he was gonna hit first. All right. Let's go clear out this room. Can't see them, but I know they're here. That name, Clear. Put that door so we're safe for a second. All right, let's get that level up here. So gymnastics, what is this? Dodge farther and faster reduces fall damage. Yeah. So that's what that uh, that roll was for. That's really cool. All right. Fighting. We can get Endurance, and we can get Striking. Striking is really good with the increased knockdown with blunt weapons. That is very nice. However, 
Endurance is my favorite, because we just knock people over. We're gonna go Endurance. Also nice because we get more health out of it versus the other options. Better than nothing. So usually we do endurance because endurance is just so good. Who gets the party started? I do. I always my back is killing me over here. I keep forgetting that um, we're not supposed to be doing fast searches <laughs> because Quincy can't do that. Quincy and Helena can't accidentally make that noise. Endurance. <laughs> Taste the power of endurance. So flip. Alright, nice. Where to next? Oh, we can actually go and scavenge uh, McGill's residence if we wanted to. Uh, let's go back on the road here. Let's focus specifically on materials while we're here. Oh. Go. Go. Oh, get off. Don't make me do it. Oh, I was going to try and get them to hit each other. Oh, it's a bloater. <laughs> oh, that's a bloater. Let's back up here. Bloater. Pick you down. You're clear of the cloud. Give me that influence. That's our influence at, by the way. Give me a third. We've got a lot more to go. Want to start the car? Perfect. Just in time. Oh. <laughs> Flipped it. Let's stop right here. Right in between two spots for materials. And Alright. Construction site. Just the one. Flip them, squish them. Oh man, we are not an avid golfer, are we? We're mostly just squishing them by pushing down on them. Playing with the good old swings. No Z's, no worries. All right, loot time. Now that's what I call loot. All right, now we're talking. All right, I need to remember to loot slowly. Same outpost. Is this materials today? It would be nice to have spare material coming in a day, but we can always grab this outpost another time. Not, not something we have to worry about right now. We'll keep our outpost spaces open. Keep our influence high for now. This is a load and a half. Is oh, I'll drop this off real quick. The trunk. We're gonna be coming back with an absolute haul. This is huge. Three things of materials so far. It's big. I've seen it top to bottom. What was that? Yeah, it was canvas. Okay. All right, this is done. Okay, so we move over to this guy next. That one right there. I don't recall if it was the shed of the house. It does make sense if it's the shed, though. Nice! Stealth level maxed. What's training regimen completed? Let's get more ethanol going. Nothing on wits. Uh, with that done, actually, we should... Yeah, once we get these materials back, we'll be able to upgrade the lounge. We're going to skip upgrading the the kitchen for a quick moment here. We'll just keep getting the ethanol in. We'll keep working on the lounge, because we need to get our morale up. Of course, it's locked. It's an easy fix. Let's crouch. Oh, that noise coming from inside or around? It is a bit of a bummer that we have stealth. The stealth is actually completely worthless as a skill, since we have Quincy. But she came with stealth, so unless we end up getting a book to be able to swap yeah, it out, still a much or do. Two out there. Because Quincy gets all of the bonuses of stealth, other than the detection radius. Quincy lets us do all the. Uh... Wait, is it everything that stealth gives? 
So curious, yeah, enemy spot radius, chance to search crash. I guess that's a different one. So it's just the the ability to silently unlock doors and crap and sprint off crouching is the other ones. But this is still quite useful. Hey, more terrible vodka. Oh, you just you can't I can't wait. We're gonna start making some good old bourbon. This is a load and a half. Oh, we're gonna start supplying the entire the entirety of Trumbull Valley with all the alcohol they need. Which I guess is gonna have us moving in on what was that group's name? The turf of uh, whatever. What are these guys? Moonshine Barn. Whoever was up here who owns Moonshine Barn. Drinking shed. We don't have the house. I'm sure the house would tell us. There's a bunch of noise coming from here. The garage. Let's go check that one too. A lot of noise coming from over here. Who's making all this noise? Pile. That's a horde, that's why. Turns out I ain't quite dead yet. Alright. We use right, the right. weapon with the break to make a bunch of noise. We'll start lure him over here. Just want to make sure no one's gonna come up behind us. We're gonna scoop to the other side of the house now. Load. Go. Never mind. Plague heart start. Uh oh, that's not good. There's a plague heart around us. That I did not notice. We gotta be careful. We don't want it to activate. We want to keep them nice and quiet right now while we get ourselves fully settled in. And get all of our troops leveled up. No more Z's in here. So we ended up killing too many plague zombies in a plague heart controlled space. Dangerous move. Let's gas in here. Steal the van by Moonshine Bar? Well, we're gonna have to make a long run if we do that. What kind of van was that? Enchant Barn. Car oh, Cargo Van. That does sound really useful. Okay, so let's go offload this and see if we can find out where that heart is. Oh. That's right, we're stealthy, so we have to loot crashes. Read sheet of notepaper. When I grow up, I want to be a police officer like my daddy. Carries a gun, but it's only to protect people from bad guys. I asked my dad if I can learn to shoot a gun, but he says it's more important to be able to talk to people, especially when they are angry or sad. I don't know if there are classes that teach that, but there should be. I think maybe we should learn that instead of division. So that is what I want uh, to be when I grow up, and that's my and that makes 100 words. All right, so it's, uh, it's actually the same thing from one of the camp from the campaign. I reused such a wholesome note. Keep the note and drop this off just for weight reasons. All right, we could go find where's this play card at. I don't know if it's stirring this play card. I don't think it's within the sphere of influence of that play card. Let's just do a quick drive around town. We're more or less out of storage space, so we can, we can maybe hit up one more small spot. Ooh. Yeah, so that's My this guy. My skin is crawling. Must Oof. be a play cart nearby. So I guess that's the play cart that's stirring. So I guess that's close enough. Ooh, okay. I don't have to be careful in town then. Guns. Yeah, so we can go get more ammo here if we wanted. Oh, that's a juggernaut. Oh, jeez. How did he get aggroed? Alright, we gotta go. In the car. Turn the car on. We gotta go. I don't know how he aggroed the juggernaut, but we're out of here. It's okay, our inventory is already full enough as is. Alright. 
got we got what four rucksacks and materials. Ah, oh, we're gonna be able to get some good upgrades going. I think that's gonna be the first play card we take out. It's gonna be the one over here in the nearby town. Try and clear out that section. So glad Thunder Dare not over here anymore. That was just that was so inconvenient. I have to constantly swerve around him. Alright. Home's at home. Yeah, that cargo van is like an extra storage would be really nice. Five things of car of uh we got quality materials, carpentry supplies, quality materials, canvas, and carpent a uh, roll of carpeting. Huge. Five from that one. What else we get? Five from that one, like that. Standing is increasing. Another five. Are we, wait, do we only ever get five? Or is it four to six like normal? Five. I get uh, always five, I guess. And then that you use for loot runs. Uh, you want a heavy armor mod? Yeah, we need to get a... Actually, that's something we... Oops, wrong button. That's something we can't make. We can't make an auto shop, so I don't know if we actually can. Oh, no, we, we use a fabricated shop, I think, is what we need for it. Sports gear. Weapons. Higher stack sizes for consumables. Increased carrying capacity limits before impacting stamina. I don't know if we can in the DLC. I don't know if we can actually get the armor mods. You'll see a little limiting on that. I don't think we can. All right. Well, how does this work? How does this over-the-top little oven-y thing do? So it's one gas and one food for an hour and 30 minutes of plus 10 morale. Bake up some scrumptious baffleberry. Blappleberry. Pan pies. Using uh, Grandma Futter's secret recipe. Proof's cooking skill. Sure. An extra 10 on here should push us over the threshold to increase everything else. There's no reason not to. And we now have the ethanol and the parts and pieces that we need. Now we're at 29. Go ahead and start focusing on getting the lounge up to level 3. Get that done shortly. We can't upgrade this. It's a bummer. We, re I really do we need more mods. We don't have enough mods. Oh my goodness. You only need a mechanic shop? That doesn't look like a mechanic shop is something we can actually build. Doesn't look like it's a buildable thing. It's not on the map. It's not on the menu. So I don't think a mechanic shop is an option. So I don't think we can make those, mod those mods or anything. Which actually makes me wonder if those mods were a thing in well, State of Decay 1. Because if not, that would make sense then, right? Because this game is... This thing is kind of trying to mimic State of Decay 1 a little bit more. Is what my understanding is. What's your standing at? Oh my goodness, not even close to enough. All right, we're taking you back out. We heard about some good stuff nearby. You want to check it out? It's Plaren. Uh, what is it? Where to? Ammo. Perfect. We're gonna go back into town there anyway. We're gonna need to bring some something else maybe for dealing with some bigger targets. Yeah. Show another base. There are no other bases in the DLC. This is the only base in the DLC, Green. We cannot move bases. This is the only one we're given. All right, let's go ahead and grab... Okay, actually, where are we at with this? I don't know if we need to keep doing one or the other. All right, so scouting is done. Stealth. Wits, we can upgrade you. Um, vigilance. Nope. Okay, so it looks like we have one, two people that can use that. And for shooting... One, two, two people shooting. Okay, so both of them are still useful. Okay. All right, so what's, what do we have here for you, uh, Reba? Reba can be stealthy, scouting, or resourceful. Stealthy's fine. Scouting, increased scouting range, enemy detection, and gun durability, which is quite nice. Or increasing capacity. I don't like any of these options. Well, it's different? Yeah. You know, the, the game mode is just very different from... It's much more limited. Much more limited. 
I don't really want to go with stealth. The stealth is good. What does Butchery do here? Bla yeah, Blade Lethality. That's what I thought. Okay. Sharpshooting. I like Sharpshooting since it does uh, penetrating bullets. It's so good. It just pierce. Knowledge of cooking, an expert in game hunting. Doesn't give us anything else, though. Also, the preparation of stat boosting feasts. Okay, so once we upgrade, we can check out that feast. Because it gives stat boosts. Resourcefulness is nice, but really it's only additional carrying capacity, and rarely are we running into carrying capacity issues. So, scouting and stealth, I think, is better. I think we can go with scouting, increasing scouting range so we can see more enemy detection, and gun durability is always just nice to have, which means we don't have to have her use a bolt action. We can have her use other things. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think Scout's the best way to go for that one. All right, baking some pies. All right. We're just going to keep churning out ethanol. We essentially can make infinite ethanol. I mean, we are starting to chunk through our food here. But I'm not worried. We can always grab a, a food outpost if we need to or something. She's a sharpshooter and hunter. Yeah, it makes sense. It kind It is thematic, actually. You're quite right on that one, Green. It's quite thematic. She's a scout, she's a sharpshooter, and she's a hunter. Yeah, that that, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, that tracks, actually. Uh, so we can end up doing either or here. We're going to keep blasting through the Wits Regiment, since we still have more meds and more food than we have ammo. And we are getting meds every day from this and from this. Getting four meds from here, one from here. We have so many meds coming in that we're not really using. Let's keep getting Wits up there. Get that trained... And then we'll start working on shooting after. Not a lot of the people that we're going to be running around with that we're going to be able to guarantee them getting time to loot. So Packing it seems to be better grade, this way. My teacher never let me draw dinosaurs in class. I hope the other thing we do over here. Howard first. Is let's go ahead and clear up the pathogen. It takes literally one sample to clear out our blood plague. Amazing. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that morale bonus that we just got. Well, morale bonus is huge. Look at that. Building action speeds 200%. Now experience rates 100%. Uh, Malik's cheered up plus 20. Once you use cheered up. Man, that's really good. Where are the pies? The horde. Free runs. Electricity. Space creativity. Here we go. Pies. 10. Countertop oven pies. Mm-mm-mm. We just need two more people available. Let's go ahead and let's cancel this real quick. Let's get this going. I want this upgrade. I want to see what we can do. We can get the upgrade on the shooting range at any point in time. That's fine. But the sooner we get this done, the better there. Parts and pieces we have a lot. Actually, just going to double check to make sure our weapons and the like are in good shape. Yeah, we can go ahead and repair this. Uh, repair is... Not a button on. Prepare now. Prepare C. Prepare. Prepare. This thing doesn't need any repairs. We do need to find more guns. More gun options would be really nice. Alright. Uh, one other thing we can do before we leave. What does this cost? Oh, it costs a person. <laughs> Three meds, too. That's too expensive. I was going to say, we could go ahead and get some auto-healing going, but it's not worth it. Alright, so we're on our way to go and grab ourselves some more ammo. We also want to go and clear out these zombies. And we might actually actively go and... We want to go and... We could activate that heart. Go to Big Daddy Auto Repair. Grab more parts and pieces. We're getting low on it again. Yeah, we're down to nine. I don't know if there's anything else we need it for for upgrading, but we'll need materials at some point, I'm sure. We need that. Oh, a horde. Perfect. Back it up. Line them up. Perfect. 
Got him. Suppressor instead of a break on the handgun. Uh, we. I'm going with the suppressor. I'm going with the break on there just because I actually I want us to have a a tool to. Oh my goodness, she's so nimble. <laughs> Uh, I actually want the break on there because I'm, I'm perfectly happy with having our handgun make noise. Perfectly happy with that. Because my goal is to use that as a way to pull enemies out of tough spots if we're in like houses and the like. The problem with being in a house is we might not be able to get the maneuverability we want, so that'll let me go and grab people outside. Bring them to us, like I did when we cleared that horde, where I shot with that twice, took out two. I really only need to shoot once, but I took out two zombies first, so that way we could lure them outside from the gunshot, and then clean them up with the suppressed lever action rifle. It was all planned. Punk. Okay, so I guess let's go to Big Daddy's auto repair spot first, and then we'll go into where the ammo store is. Because I imagine we're going to get most of the goodies from here. Also, then we can loot our way up, as opposed to looting our way back, since going up there we're going to get pretty, pretty in the thick of things. Yeah, you know, I kind of forgot about him. We don't have a weapon to take him out. Um, a lever action rifle is not ideal for taking out a juggernaut. Wow, I haven't seen a real kitchen in. Oh. Well, you don't want to know, but I sure remember how to use it. Perfect. Get on, Ariba. Can't wait to end up tasting your uh, your zombie-inspired uh, blood red venison. It's gonna be delicious. I'm out of gas. Okay, actually, we're in a lot of trouble here. Push it away. We can make it back in. Get ourselves some energy back. Yeah, there's just a few too many. Oh, that dodge did not occur. Okay. Now. I got caught. <laughs> I didn't go according to plan, but that's okay. Can't expect everything to. Oh no, my goodness. It takes, it takes quite a while to load. Okay. Use the SUVs, temporary storage. Ooh. Barely worth taking. Ooh, that Molotov actually might be useful for that juggernaut there. Alright, so real quick here. Oh, Hunter's Kitchen! Look at that! <laughs> We're gonna have to go walk over there and see what it looks like. Okay, what do we get now? Collect seeds. Three food to one to three seed boxes. Quite useful. Prepare Hunter's Feast. Plus 30 maximum stamina for 45 minutes, plus 15 morale for an hour. Wow! Hey, Game Center, thanks to follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. With Reba's help, we can whip up some fried venison. I knew it. Fried, fried venison pack strips and smoked sausage that'll make mouths water. Um, yeah, I see zero reason for us not to do that immediately. I see zero reason for us not to do that immediately. Now this could be a lot of fun. Oh, that's huge. A pallet storage. That's actually quite massive. Because we can put those storage type things on any... Those mods can go on any kind of facility and give us storage. Uh, storage boosts. Now where am I going to put that? So we'll be able to use that to increase our material storage. Which, of course, we are kind of not really going... Like, we're, we're blasting through the material storage quite fast. Oh, hang on a second. I, I took off my gun. I tried to hit the rucksack. I took my gun off. Go ahead and uh, re equip that. Take that off instead. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anna. 
panic. Okay, so we just upgraded the lounge. So I want to go see what the lounge has to offer. Another That's portable generator. We don't need these. We don't need these. We'll take these. We don't need these. No these. We'll take these. No worries. We'll sell them. Like a hundred something influence each. Ooh, white chocolate bars. All right, yeah, we can go drop those off for someone All else to enjoy. Here. Carving knife. Right, we're gonna have to bring that back for Reba. All right, let's see here. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's changed from a lounge to a, 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 a film reel, a projector. So this gives us two extra couches, plus 15 morale, plus five creative space. Nice. Provides a variety of passive and uh, potent active morale boosting activities. Also lets us passively learn faster. Watch training videos. Small skill increase all skills. Learn a bit about just learn a bit about just about everything. Takes some power. Takes three people. Takes five minutes. That's pretty easy. What do we have here? We've got schedule a break, play games, round of drinks, poker night, watch TV, and movie night. I've movie night actually costs here. influence. Get a bunch of folks together to sit around and enjoy a movie. Boldly ignore the obvious threat outside in exchange for a huge morale boost. 25 morale for an hour and a half is pretty good, but a half hour of minus labor is pretty brutal. Or you can get essentially half that value. Not quite for watching TV. It used to be the most normal thing in the world, but now it's quite a luxury. It provides a long-lasting morale boost. Poker Knight is three morale instead of two for less. So actually, oh, I see, I see. The difference is if you have power or not. TV's better than Poker Knight. Play a few rounds of cards for a long-lasting morale boost. Uh, round, uh, mix a round of drinks. Morale is just labor down for a little bit, but morale is so low. It's only 15 minutes that 15 boosts. So it's more of like a Band-Aid patch. Anything else? You're still alive? That alone is worth celebrating. Play games, which is even less morale, but the same time frame, same everything else. But oh, but makes noise. How does how does having drinks not increase noise? What? <laughs> that doesn't make a lick of sense. Uh, we'll do training videos. Let's get on that. Let's get some random skills for everyone to level up. Doesn't hurt for us to try and get all that up right, right now. That's quite heavy. I got that juggernaut on the other side. Uh, while I was at, while I was just reading through things, this is juggernaut on the other side of this wall. Just sniffing this out. Like, hmm. I smell fresh blood. Wait, can I get on top of this building? There he is. If I can get on top of the building, just shoot down at him, that'd be great. If you take out that juggernaut, that'd be huge. That's, that's a lot of uh, standing. And that's what we have her out here for, is... Gotta get that uh, citizen standing up. Definitely need to do some more running around and get our endurance up. Run around and do some more fighting. That's fighting with a weapon as opposed to or with a melee weapon. Knock it down. Gun. Finish it off. Oh yeah. Rinse repeat again and again. Hmm. House with the free chair. <laughs> Nice way to do it. distinguish that. We can go and get some ammo, sure. Yeah, the lever, I just don't think we can take it out with the lever action. This thing's got decent stopping power. Our pistol actually has more stopping power, funnily enough. That's going to cause way too many friends to come over here. I think we can give it a try. We can take out this juggernaut, that'd be big. I have to wait for closer. We can't, uh, we can't waste bullets. We don't have that many. 
He's got really good dodge ranges, so we should be okay. Actually, we really go. Whoop. Big rolls. What we really want to do is actually run around out here. Out here would be a great spot to run around. Wait, where did you come from? Oh, wait, you. I don't want to use a pistol quite. So again, we're going to go through this lever action as much as we can first. Actually, she's perfect for this, being gymnastics. Uh, uh, gymnast. We get so much more dodge range. Oh, he delayed his attack. That's bad. I'm getting exposed to too much of this play. Ah, he delayed his attack. I was not expecting him to delay his attack like that. Smart man. Ooh. Swap over. I should reload. No, please. Whoop. Oh, what? Okay. Well, we have two hours or three hours. So fine. Okay. Ah. He's getting us with the AOE damage. When he does the, the plague hammer, that's the real problem right now. Go again. I am sick Pop of over, sick. please. Good. Thank you. I need a doctor. We'll get him. We'll get him. Swamp. Swamp. You gotta be so close. Reloading. Oh, what the? Why'd you decide not to dodge, ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Why, why didn't you dodge? So you just stood magazine. there. You just took that shot. I guess that's my last shot. Oh no. I thought we got him. I thought we got him with the last one. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, time to reload. Luckily, he's uh, running into the. Wow, we didn't actually grab that many people over here. I'm pretty happy about that. Nice. We also got an endurance bonus from watching the training videos. This is very bad. We've only got eight more bullets. I thought we were going to have enough bullets for this. Hop on over, big man. Come on now. Here we go. Big jumps. Like that. Oof. Oh, for goodness sakes, finally. <laughs> I was so close. I was getting real worried. I was getting real worried. All right, let's head on home. Wouldn't necessarily call it mission successful, but mission successful, yeah. Oh yeah, big bonus. I'll right, we'll go and get the blood plate. Here it's on her. We'll bring her back out later. Oh. Oh, awkward. Hi, buddy. I don't know what happened to your friend. He went over there somewhere, and there was a lot of noise, and your buddy's missing. I don't know where he went. Oh my goodness, so was... <laughs> found his twin. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, we got almost two hours worth of time to get her back before the blood sets all the way in. We're fine. Went through, what, three normal painkillers and a bunch of ammo. Yeah, that lever action rifle is just not, not good for <laughs> taking out juggernauts. Lever action rifle is probably fine for taking out barrels. It's definitely A-OK -okay for taking out screamers and ravers, obvious, but loaders, no problem. It's literally just for those guys out of work. But I think the pistol really did the majority of the heavy lifting during that fight. Pistol had a higher damage output, too. Okay. We need to let her recover, and then we can go ahead and do other things. Pop that off. The Timberwolf is good for. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, we haven't played with the Timberwolf yet, but that would be real good against Juggernauts. 50 cal rifle. I think it'll do a pretty good job. Working out. I feel good. 
skeleton. Uh, let's see here. Got you and you. Let's go ahead and just reload this stuff real quick here. Just says fully reloaded and prepped and ready for when we take your next time. This is like a panic or something that happens when we swap on over there. He's got everything we need. All right, you, you need a break. You, you need a break. Right, let's see here, Vic. What's going on with yours? SUV. Yeah, we'll end up going for the SUV in a bit here. Fifty cal does not uh, does not do more damage against juggernauts. Well, I think doesn't it just have a higher damage output versus other guns? Not necessarily that it gets a damage bonus against juggernauts, but it just does more damage, so it's better against juggernauts, right? Takes the same amount of shots. Wait, really? No way, really? A juggernaut can tank the same like 50 bullets between a 9mm and a 50 cal? That's crazy. Juggernauts, they're insane. Okay, so lockpicking lessons, regular patrols. So meds we're not worried about, food we're not worried about. I think Max is what we're doing next. And we just need to take out like two more juggernauts, we're good to go. Yeah, so let's go with Vic. Actually, Vic, we can get your cardio up here. Wow, look at your options, okay. Acrobatics, powerhouse, backpacking, and marathon. We're gonna go for marathon because I like it the most. Acrobatics, dodging, climbing, or quicker and costless stamina. Although that is good. Sprinting, costless stamina, and fatigue cruise more slowly. Well, we don't actually have fatigue in this game, so that's actually a massive loss of an advantage. Usually that'd be good, but fatigue isn't a thing in this game mode. That's not good at all. So this only reduces running costs. But dodging and climbing are quicker and costless stamina, so dodging around... Actually, acrobatics might be better in this case. This the only difference the is being able to run around... Well, we do have him for our play cart clearing. Ooh, are we still just going to be relying on you for play cart clearing? A marathon self endurance. You, you're just the best. Literally just the best. Wow, we got a lot of scouts, actually. Yeah, no, Quincy is just the best for dealing with play cards. Okay, so if, if we're going to be relying on him for play cards, then we don't need you to take the marathons. We can give you acrobatics, which is good. The climbing stamina and dodging stamina is reduced, which is nice. Best weapon against Juggernauts is the back of the car. <laughs> beep, beep. All right, assuming direct control. Oh, he's got the Magnum. All right. He's got the revolver over here. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get him outfitted. I don't want to play around with a shotgun. I'm not a huge fan of the shotgun, to be honest. Uh, backpack, heavy backpack. Yeah, we don't have a light one. Combat knife. Well, do we have another weapon that might be better for him? Crowbar, less dismembering, more knockdown, ease of use, less lethality. Might actually just be better to go for the crowbar. Although, wait, is the pipe threader like literally the same? But it's less, less weight, half a pound less, better. We do have a sweet skull sword, <laughs> which we'll probably put on Reba, to be honest, since she is a blade master. Although there is a noodle knife, which would be hysterical. Those murders noodle knives. Oh yeah, we need to move that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good reminder. Also, have to go turn the power back on. Painkiller, snacks, nothing special here. Got the Viper. I think we're gonna keep the Viper going. That's and what do we want to give him? Timber, yeah, Timberwolf is a full power output weapon. Old shotgun, anti-material rifle. <laughs> what material? I didn't see anything. So, bolt action, bolt action, bolt action. I'd like some more assault rifles to choose from, really. Another semi-automatic rifles to play with as well. Yeah, it means we can't really go for the big guys. Katana's fun? Yeah, we don't have any katanas, though. Repair kit, gas can, and run over to the SUV. Yeah, we'll need to get the SUV soon. We're going to get that ammo here first, though. 
Uh, I think we'll take Quincy to go and get the SUV just because of the running. He's a marathon guy. We can rely on him doing that. Let's... Five pounds. These are so much heavier. Much higher caliber. 760s. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's give him the, the Trumbull Gatekeeper. Why not? Why not? Ahead and stick it on you. Uh, you can get a break, but we're actually out of breaks. Actually, we need to see if we can make some. That'd be good. Let me see if we can make some breaks. It's on the bridge? Wait, am I not knowing which SUV we're talking about? Maybe I'm not sure which SUV it is. Let me take a look. We don't have... We need new backpacks. Bridge? Oh, this one. Oh, okay. I thought we were still talking about this one. I thought we were talking about the cargo van. <laughs> Which is why once I said you said once I saw that you said a gas can, I was like, what do you mean? This thing's like full up. Okay, no, this one. Yeah, that's not far at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. We could do that. Alright, let's see here. So here capacity's not the best. That will go up though. We get our vigilance up there. All right. Back to here, back to here, back to getting more ethanol. There's constant production of ethanol. That generator online. Get that going. Countertop pies are still going. Why is this not happening? Waiting for action to complete. Oh, it, the preparation takes 45 minutes? Are you serious? Or is it? No, no, is, maybe it's already active? I'm positive. Our morale is absolutely killer. <laughs> We're in high spirits. Great means for temporary storage. We don't really need temporary storage right now, um, so we can go grab that in a bit. It's not a high priority since we're not overflowing with anything. All except we have a lot of fuel right now. Not full on it yet, but in there. All right, so if we go ahead and we stash a pallet on here because we have nothing else to put on there right now, we can just hold an extra five materials. Nice. All right, perfect. Um, we'll keep going with wits for now. And again, same thing. If we get another storage container. We can just put that in the shooting range. Eventually, we might actually drop the shooting range. The shooting range is giving us a stamina boost, but I think once we get everyone trained, that stamina boost isn't really that important. Because that'd be the only thing it gives us at that point, once everyone's trained up. With uh, shooting and wits. Then we can go ahead and swap over to a... I don't know if we actually even need a gym. Most people are good on fighting, right? Nah, you can use fighting. Is it... I guess since it's these two for that one, the upgraded gym is probably for these two. Which is where we are actually quite thin on training. Yeah. Just like having it for the extra rucksacks for missions. Ah, uh, yeah, but we don't really get missions that require rucksacks. Actually, we don't get any missions that require rucksacks in this game mode. Never thought now that I'm thinking about it, we haven't gotten a single one that requires us bringing over a rucksack of stuff. Instead, it's missions for us to go and get rucksacks for ourselves, like we have right now, the supply run. It's just a, an auto-reoccurring, random material type that we can go and loot from a place that we've already looted. Just lets us reloot things. There's not much of a need for us to go and grab that for that kind of storage, unless we get to the point where our current storage is too big. So we'll, leave, we'll hold off on it. We don't need it right now. Juggernaut. I mean... We could probably take it out with the Trumbull Gatekeeper at range. The pallet's installed. Go ahead and get that going. How's it going, Knight? How you doing today? Is that you hear about Conan Exiles uh, Age of War Part 4? Uh, what about it? I've heard a little bit. I've looked at some of the patch notes for the... Oh, whoa. Hello. Uh, maybe I should have stayed in the car. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we should have stayed in the car. This might have been a mistake. I was going strong to today. Uh, I did look at some of them to to see what's going on in the uh, beta, the public uh, public beta. Well, what you talking about with it? I'm looking forward to playing it when it comes out. You, this guy needs shooting skill, right? Oh yeah, he does. Perfect. Well, time to learn.
Holy, it's a lot of them. Let's get some good shooting practice in here. Hey! This way! <laughs> Feral, oh alert. no! Take it down! Not good! Not good! Not good! We have a huge swarm of guys and a feral. Not good. This is this is a bad time for a feral. This is like the worst time for a feral. We're also running away from town right now. I need one ammo in this gun right now, please. Load one bullet. Load one. I got rest. Holy jeez. Got him. <laughs> that was a quick motive. <laughs> quick bit of panic. Jeez. All right, we're good now. Oh, jeez. There's that juggernaut. So he just migrated up there. He used to be on the bridge. I need a break. But he moved from the bridge up there. Okay. Let's see if we can take him out. Again, our objective right now is getting these guys to get their standing up. So killing these guys is way more important than anything else. Uh, sorry if you're asking if you knew it exists already. No, no. It's still good to know. I appreciate you saying so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I haven't decided exactly what our game plan is going to be. I haven't decided exactly what our game plan is going to be on our next playthrough for Conan Exiles. Uh, for Chapter 4. I don't know if we're going to do another start from level 0 and do a... Uh, do a playthrough doing every single one of the dungeons, because we haven't done that yet. Go do every single one of the dungeons. Or if we're just... Uh, and then, you know, we do all the dungeons and do raiding. Or if we do... Just that plague raiding. bloater is bad. I'm not sure. How's it going for Bacchus? How are you doing today? All right, our gunslinging is almost maxed already. Wait, are you not like dead? I gotta stay away from that cloud. Well, that was bad. Maybe just knocked him over and he was taking a nap. Not sure. Uh, I thought we finished State of Decay. We did. We finished State of Decay. We did. We did. And now we're playing the DLC for State of Decay. Yeah, yeah. So you are absolutely correct, we did finish it. Finishing this, the DLC now. Almost got all the gunslinging skill here. Let's just go finish this off. We'll have to build a uh, joint for base building? No. Or are you talking about Conan? I don't know. Let's pick on that. Maxed out, perfect. We'll get some more bullets. I don't have to think about that. If we wanted to do like a big crazy build. Hey guys. I don't know. I'm back. Again, I haven't really decided what our plan's gonna be Did for I ever Conan. Mention I worked here one summer? Crazy how many folks drive for hours just to see fake uh, Let's go grab go uh top up our ammo here. Go. Alright. Get back in the car and let's get to work. Actually, while we're here, let's let's heal up. <laughs> While we're at it, go ahead and heal up. Bottles, extra snacks. Yeah, we'll figure out what our plan is for that game once the uh, once the chapter is actually released. We've got other games to play in the meantime. We got other stuff to do. At some point, we're gonna have to come over here and pick up all the plague samples flying around. All right, let's go and see if we can take out this juggernaut. I thought I heard... Oh, you're up there. <laughs> Where is this guy? Stay down this time. Okay. Watching the videos is already done. Watch more videos. I guess it's only five minutes for that small bit of experience. It's still worth getting. Okay. What's your standing at right now? How'd we do? A decent amount, but not as much as I'd like. We got a special juggernaut here. Oh, actually, we can snipe with this thing. In which case, let's actually back up. Raft for pre-sick game two. I'm enjoying Raft a lot. Oh, can I jump on top of our car? I'm really enjoying Raft. I'm really looking forward to Monday and Tuesday. We play more of it. Four. 
five. Hey, if he's just gonna stand there, I will take it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do it real quick. And fighting the gunslay stuff. I'm actually curious how many shots it's gonna take to kill him. Eleven. No. Thirteen. Fourteen. I'm assuming it's gonna be like thirty. Fifteen. Uh, assuming halfway. Sixteen. Seventeen. First stagger. Okay, so seventeen to first stagger. Yikes. So that probably means we need to do it's about sixty shots across the board, depending on how well you you place your shots. Okay, that was eighteen, we missed one there. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Three. Four. Twenty-five. Six. And seven, stagger two. Time to reload. Stagger three is thinks when he goes down. Eight, nine, thirty, three, one, three, two, three, 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 four, five, three, six, seven, stagger three. I should reload. Whoa, we got a horde up there. <laughs> press, press. Three, seven, three, eight, nine, forty, three, one, two, three, three, three four, five, three, six. Forty-six shots. I don't think I'm gonna get here in time. Yeah. That's a lot of shots. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I tried to sweep and didn't get there in time. This guy's clearly stuck in the wall, though. Yeah. Can't get too complacent, but we can at least get it closer. That's how that works. <laughs> totally normal, no problems here, don't know what you're talking about. Sweet. Ooh, an advance oppressor. Very nice find. I am very happy with that. Oh. I guess I'm empty. Unk. Last shot. Don't get any influence for knocking him out like that though. Oh. That high pitch wailing happen when we get close. Oh, gross. Cloud so apparently off. we should not be shooting them in the head. Because then they end up just sitting there forever. Waiting for us to drive over it. That's that's not good. We call that very bad. Setting up a trap for ourselves. Oh, we haven't we haven't looted this before. Well, hello. Site secured. Beautiful. What is this site? Overlook campsite, chance for ammo. Nice, I'll take it. We'll clear these guys out here real quick. Come with me, everyone. Get them out in the open so I can actually see them. I should reload. Oh. Oh. A couple of spares here. <laughs> Got striking and... Oh, okay. I was like, wait, how do we get both? Those videos are really good. I should reload. Oh. Scratch there. Reload. Watch her. Miss. The first shot was wildly off. I think this is the last two. There we go. Influence game. Interesting that our influence is plus three. Normally we'd only get 20 for taking one out. <laughs> True, we do kind of need ammo. I am blasting through a lot of it, trying to clear out all these juggernauts. 
You're not wrong. Nice. I need actual, literal, just on hand ammo. And a grenade. Maybe it would have been best to grab this first. Check that if he is. Wait, or not. Me down. Hey, catch! <laughs> Boom. Not bad. Oh, barrel. Move! Take it down! Oh no! Where did that guy come from? Oh! Oh, good grief, there's extras. Quick, jump. Heal. Load. Oh, man. Extra zombies. Ugh. <laughs> I, I thought I cleared the entire top up there. I don't know where these guys came from. I was not, I was not prepared. For random others to come in and say hi. The moment I saw that pair, like, oh! I am wasting a little bit of ammo, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, a, little, a little panicked. I'm uh tapping the, the shoot button a little too uh, a little too vigorously here. Alright. Build up, come on back. Back it on up. All the way on back. Actually what we could do. That would be actually a good time for us to pick up the samples here. Our way back up. <laughs> Man, I don't like the sweep attack. You just my role. can't get it the off. Deadhead plague's gonna you never get that sweep attack off. We need more ammo. We'll grab some ammo real quick. Yeah, hey, Malik, be so kind. You could clear up my bank. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, Reba. Did you go ahead and clear it out for me then? Just another successful delivery. Oh, no, we dropped off six this time. Okay. Ammunition. Top off you. Top off you. Man, what are you, what are you doing standing up? Go lie down. Oh, that's right. We didn't actually cure you. Whoops! Whoopsies. Since the shakes began, I need help even just feeding myself. Yeah, you need to you need to lie down. But um Hey Vic. You doing okay? Yeah, well let me go let me go grab a <laughs> let me go grab a cure from you real quick. I just put her down, I was like, ah she'll be fine. Forgot that she actually has full blown blood plague. Um uh, we need to actually we need to go and actually cure her. My bad. Grab real quick. The auto aim is a pretty nice thing. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's all we have gunslinger. Hey, on most Vic. of our guys, is because gunslinger is okay? so good. I've got just what you. It's need. so important the auto aim, especially against the barrels. So I'm regularly just panicking when the barrels are coming at us. So having that gunslinger has been absolute lifesaver. And ready to get back to work. Nice standing increased. All right, how are we looking after taking out that juggernaut? Pretty good. Nice, and acrobatics now fully up. Is there anything else we need to tra train you on? Vigilance and striking. So still, still some stuff for wits training. Still wits training. We'll keep wits training going. Regular training going. Ethanol production on the way. We can make more boxes of food. So what is it? Three pieces of food makes us one to three seed boxes. Let's say worst case scenario, three pieces of food makes us one box. One box gives us a 100% increase on yield, which is giving us six extra yield because it doesn't stack with this. So that means at bare, at bare minimum, worst case scenario, three food would create six food. Or three food would create 18 food. That's nuts. How much, how many seeds do we have right now? We don't need to do it at the moment, I don't think. We still got 34 seeds, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. All the times I bought gas here. If we ever do need to, though. I'd move in someday. 
I do need to though. But it's good to know that it is it's not a maybe it works, maybe it does it. It's a guarantee, yep. It's good for you. Put that foot leg. Press again. Oh even when I even when I'm priming it early, just the leg sweep is so bad. I do not like the leg sweep. I am not a fan. Leg sweep's coming from striking, right? Grand slam against multiple opponents with blunt weapon. Look who's got goodies to share. Yeah, I just don't like it that much. It's not that good. Alright, let's go see what's over here. We haven't explored that way. There's still some stuff close to home we can check. Yeah, that's like... Oh, hello. Take that back. I feel like we've been over here before, and it's uh, burnt out or something. That's the plan. That's almost a horde, but not quite a horde. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's burnt out or something, which is why there's nothing here. Nothing on the map. Was there... I guess we go into town. Let's go to the army surplus store here. Or the gun surplus store, whatever it is. Another juggernaut we can try and take out. Actually, this might be a little cheaty. I mean, the last one was kind of cheaty too, to be honest. Oh, if he's not going to move, I mean, we'll just do it again. We're only killing Juggernauts for standing and literally nothing else, so... Not like it's part of a mission or anything. I should reload. Good. Okay. And, uh, the sway is brutal. Lost count. Oh, that was a whiff. Dagger one. I won't stand still anymore. Time to reload. There were two clips in. Maybe there were 22, 21, because I did miss one of those shots. Dang it. He didn't even hear that shot. Like the bummer. to not go too far uh, with it. It's three whiffs. He's going the right direction, now. Keep standing there, big man. Okay, two stackers. Time to reload. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Don't hide behind that sign, monster. Man, the level three um, lounge is kind of broken. Time to reload. It's out. We got a lot of whiffs because he's moving. Last time was a whole lot easier standing target. Okay, right, that's stagger three. Next dagger goes down, which is eight shots, which we don't have in the in the chamber here. But we can get it with the pistol. That's my last shot. Oh, and we got a horde by our car too. Uh, we'll go clear that out after. We'll finish this juggernaut off. There we go. Get him! 
Alright, we got a lot of blood plague from the others coming at us while we were doing that, but you know what? Worth it. Loader! Loader where? Oh, there. We're bringing in a bunch of friends. I gotta stay away from that cloud. Clear him out. Barrel! Whoa! Aim for the head! No! Oh my goodness. I knew our play card's stirring again. It's not good. We need to back off before we get that play card to fire up. Alright, we did our job. We did our job. We took out a barrel of loader and a juggernaut. That's pretty big. We'll take out this board here in a second. But let's check up on ourselves. Oh yeah. So close. So close. But yeah, this is crazy, because it literally costs, like, it costs time and power. That's it. It costs labor and power, and everyone just gets free skill. It's insane. Let's see if I can clear some of these guys. Without using a gun. Without drawing more in. We have so much stamina with this guy. Like, look at this stamina bar. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> it's so huge. Ah, that was a mistake. And it was this one? It was this one, okay. Well, we need to go deal with it eventually. The dead head it's now just something we have to deal with now. Hey, here we go. A PPK, we finally got another pistol. Jeez, we've been looking for new pistols. Alright, you know what? We've needed something to kind of put a little more... Uh, Fire under our butts, right? Get us a little more active. We've just been focusing on building up the base, but now we actually have to go clear. Oh, oh I got him this time. Man, I had to really queue up that swing, though. Jeez. I love, I love my endurance abilities. They're so good. No dead heads left around here. Okay. Uh, that's a good find. Up. Good. And one of this, maybe? That's it. Oh, ho, ho. more ethanol. I'll take it. Got a very sticky note. Email dude33 network99. Hit that. Uh, FB to party to time. And briefcase 12345. Nice. Small erasable board. Serotonin equals increased uh, sanity. Or sanity. This new subject report. Hmm. Go ahead and drop stuff off in the car. We missed that horde, though. Ale House is a severity one infestation. Actually, these infestations are going to be good for us. Now that I'm starting to think about it. Are we sure it gets. Uh, are we sure it gets to Blackheart? It won't be a Blackheart. There's no curveballs in the DLC. So it'll only ever be this teeny tiny baby little play card that we don't have to really worry too much about. It'll start infesting things and we'll end up getting a siege eventually, sure. But we're not going to have to deal with the sheer ridiculousness that were those black hearts in the I that think that's last, everything. Because the DLC doesn't have them. But the nice thing about this is it's actually going to create more freaks, which is what we need to increase everyone's skill or everyone's standing. And standing is what we need to get up on everyone right now. So this is actually A-OK -okay with me. Though the speed at which that got infected was a little concerning. It's, it's quite fast to infest that. Alright, you. Come here. Come on, everyone. This way, please. So it's like farming mode. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Right, we want to move a little bit more outside of town, just so that as we're fighting these guys and clearing them out, we won't be bringing in too many new friends. Unless I whiff like crazy all the time. Holy, what is this? What are these shots, my man? New plan. 
so much damage. It's crazy. New plan. Come here. I should reload. Hey, that, that was a bad plan. <laughs> the recoil is too big. Recoil is too much with the uh, with the magnums here. All right. We use the good old fence trick here. I'm all busy climbing the fence. And we'll jump in the car. Here, everyone. Oh, my door! And back. Alright, board cleared. Alright, you get off my door. You're not allowed on. Get out of here. Alright. Go ahead home. This guy's got too much blood plague. After cleaning that board, what's our standing at? How close are we? Oh, I bet it's really close. Ah, it's not close enough for it to, for us to risk him. Take Vic back. We can go and uh, take Reba out, or we can go and take. Uh, what's her name? Who did we take out before? Oh my goodness, I'm blanking. Which is the K? I can't remember her name. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, she was the one who was like super blood blinked. We have to go and get cured and bring her out. Keisha, that's who it is. Alright. Go ahead and drop all this off. Got ourselves ethanol and a new gun. Nice. Don't waste your time making sure. That leads to bad decisions. Alright. Does this need repairs? No. Both of these guys can't take damage. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that was something we wanted to take a look at here. Can we make attachments? We can. Handmade break. I mean, suppressor, improved suppressor, and him a choke. Yeah, so let's make the break. All right, makes it louder, but reduces recoil and slightly increases impact and range. Make one of them bad boys. Actually, probably make a couple of them, to be honest. We we'll find some better ones. Then we can go ahead and get that on here. Increase the weight. Right, increases the weight, increases the range, increases the power, and reduces the control a little. Totally worth it. Still pharaohs are more scared of uh, for you than juggernauts. Yeah, now I'm right there with you. Pharaohs still freak me out. Wait, I mean, every single time there's a feral, I start panicking. Like, I, like literally, <laughs> like literally every time. It's only when we're sniping them at range that I feel comfortable taking them out. Otherwise, you see me just like panic every single time. We gotta make sure we, this guy's fully reloaded before we go and drop off. Since they don't use the actual ammo, uh, it's actually better for us to have this fully reloaded first and we drop off all the spare bullets. But when we swap over to them, even in an emergency, we always have ammo on hand. Uh, reload that one last bullet that went in the chamber. Thank you. Okay. So if we're gonna swap out on you, let's make sure we get you in the infirmary here. That looks like sorted. Alright, so she's almost done. I think we take her. I was thinking we jump over to Reba instead. But we could probably finish you off. Get that facility speed up. It's a I direct control think I'm here. Gonna take a sick day. <laughs> I see you're still kicking. Yeah, you take a break there, Vic. You need it. You earned it. I hope nothing heard that. We'll grab some ammo. Alright. Wait a second. Is that all we had? Oh, we need more nines. Uh oh. Let's go make some more nine mils. Oh, we got so much ammo. It's fine. Go do that. Make two rounds of nines. 140 bullets. Go. Oh. Still good. There's really nothing else here we need. We can do rationing as well. Which I wonder. Okay, so 
Preparing a Hunter's Feast gives us 30 maximum stamina and 15 morale for an hour. Rationing gives us minus five, minus five stamina, plus minus 15 morale for an hour, but 50% reduction of food consumption. So, am I crazy? Or does it actually make sense to ration while having a feast? Right? Reduce overall food consumption by 50%. I don't know why it says max 75%. I don't know what that means. But 50% food consumption. Our food consumption per day is currently 5.5. Would be 6, right? The consumption of this is 3. So, I don't think it's worth doing it yet. Uh, now that I'm looking at how much it costs. But, once our food consumption is over 6, doing this reduces the stamina bonus we get by 1. Gives us no morale bonus, but lets us save anything more than 6 food that we produce, or we consume a day. We save. Weird. I don't think it's worth doing it right now because we are consuming less than six. But if we consume more than six, which is the break even point here, and it is spammy like crazy down here. I don't know what it's trying to do. We could be rationing and feasting at the same time. I guess, I guess technically speaking, what this would then mean, right? How's it going, Lewis? How are you doing today? Lewis Elm, how are you doing? Uh. I guess technically the way this would be like wrapped around my head logically is, hey, Reba's gonna go out and get us venison and sausage. You only get one serving of broccoli a day. That's it. You get you get a ha or maybe you get half serving of lettuce for a full day. You get almost no roughage. We go on to a predominantly meat focused diet. Still need one building? Yeah, we still need another building, but the things we can do right now is a sniper tower, which I'm not too interested in right now. Uh, a farm or a barracks. So I'm kind of holding out until we get what we need for either the utility complex or for the drone uplink. That's kind of what I'm waiting out on. I don't see much reason for a sniper tower since we have the built-in defenses here, which is, you know, once we get the drill instructor, we can upgrade this bad boy. But for right now, it's taking care of it. But once we have the drill instructor in here... With ammo and one or two armed survivors kills incoming zombies. Yeah. Provides passive stamina boost. Like, I don't see a reason for us to do that, since we'll essentially have... Once this is upgraded, we'll upgrade this to superior defenses, which is essentially the same thing. That's the reason why we haven't gone for the sniper tower. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem reasonable. So, it's either the uplink... It's probably going to be the uplink... Uh, unless we go for the utility complex. And if we go for the utility complexes, then we can drop the generator. If then let's just put in, I don't know, a small farm or a latrine or... Honestly, maybe it'll give us the fighting arena instead. Water, water, we have infinite water from here. We just have to hit go every hour and a half. We have to click collect water. But otherwise, we have infinite water from the still. So power right now is really the only thing that matters. Our water's actually off right now. Gotta wait three more three more seconds here. Water's on. Bam, everyone's got water. I'm not too worried about water. Oh my goodness, our morale is three off from cap. <laughs> it's amazing. That's really good. Three off from cap here. It's a little more endurance, so we just need to get a little more fighting in, and then that's done. Alright, so there's a lot of infesting going on. Take out that screamer. This whole zone over here is going to start getting completely covered. It's going to be great. Just need to go in there and just clear it out. Quincy will be used for the final clearing of the zone, but we can go ahead and use everyone else for setting uh, her, her status to hero. Okay. 
for us to become the hero we've always wished to be. Uh, there's nothing else here that we need to, like, grab, right? Yeah, these are all just basic houses. None of these give us materials or anything. The best thing to do... Actually, I don't know. Can we? Hold on a second. Yeah, no, we can't set up uh, explosive defenses in this one. Darn, I was about to say. What would be nice to do, what we might want to go do here, is actually take the espresso space here, or the food to tartan mart here. Or actually, no, the construction site would be ideal. Because then it would have a big old area here that anything to walk through would explode. But... What was the card next to the tents? Uh, it's the Rap Scallion. I don't actually remember which one that is. Okay. Yeah. White House Severity 1. Further away. You can see where you want me to go. Search for ammo. Way over here. Yeah, I got a new spot for it. Actually, we've got some other search spots over here for us to do from potential materials. It could be a really good one to go for. Let's go get that real, real quick. Let's go for that one right now. For the material and ammo run. Hey, gas. No worries there. This bad boy. Nope. Prepared. Nope. There. <laughs> there we go. How's it going, Tomsy? How are you doing today? You're waiting for State of Decay 3. Hopefully it's still coming out. After all the back and forth. Yeah, I think it is still coming out. We haven't been given a release date, have we? They haven't given us a release date on that yet. The other game I'm really excited about uh, with the, the information about release is... Frostpunk 2. <laughs> Blanked on the name for a second there. I'm really excited to play Frostpunk 2. I do, I, I'm a huge fan of survival games. Survival resource ability games. Yeah, no, State of Decay 2, uh, State of Decay 3 is going to be great. I'm really enjoying State of Decay 2, so I can only imagine. If 3 is the same thing, but, you know, more refined, I don't know, maybe better graphics? They don't really need better graphics, to be honest. The graphics for this is great as is. But, you know, would be better graphics if they want to. Uh... A little bit more, and I, I definitely want. I, I definitely don't want it to be where we have to go to the friendly enclave to go get their request. I want them to come to us. I think that's still just be so much better. But honestly, there's not a lot I think they need to improve on for the formula of this game to make it better. We're looking forward to Terminator Survivors. I don't know anything about that. Oh, jeez. Uh, there's a lot of them here. Hello. I can't keep this up. Uh, what kind of game is Terminator Survivor? Is it a first-person shooter? Is it a survival game? Is what, what kind of game is that? Is it an RTS? I don't know. Also, kind of hope it doesn't necessarily follow the movies, right? This stuff looks useful. So I brought it home. Oh, nice. Just since movie adaptations tend to be pretty bad. Just on well, in general. You still got company. Not always. But usually. I just hope it's like within the not often you find something this good. franchise, but not necessarily specifically following a movie. It's gotta be here someplace. Drop this sucker off before I can grab that. Uh. There you go. Stamina back here real quick. Man, she's got so little stamina compared to <laughs> compared to playing with Vic. Ow. Vic has so much stamina in comparison, it's crazy. Okay. This game definitely got uh, pretty good vibes. It does. Because, you know, you can, you can stick around at home, do some base building stuff. You can do, like, scouting missions and stealth stuff if you want to do that. Or you can just go in guns blazing. If you just want to go and blast out 
blast out some Z's, you know? We are going to have to go and do a solo playthrough of Project Zomboid soon, though. I think that's going to need to be put sure on the boat list here. soon. Because we did that multiplayer, and we haven't played that multiplayer in a bit. Find something this good. Uh, or at least we're playing Sturdy Valley now uh, with the other streamers. And I'm a big fan of zombie games. I like zombie games like pirate games. I don't know if I'd like pirate zombie games, though. I don't know what that. Um, but I would like to go ahead and do that. Whoop. Do that game. How's it going, more? How are you doing today? Uh, it's a bit wild, but if uh, if to speculate from trailer, additional weather conditions. Oh, or at least change of it would be nice. Aggressive wildlife. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because they showed a what was it, like a a deer. It was like a deer that was infected. You're right, yeah, aggressive wildlife. That, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Aggressive wildlife would be a really nice addition. Zombie, zombie wolves, zombie deer. I think it'd be pretty cool. The thing is, what I really want is like an even harder focused survival style. It, as in like, more the long dark style. I would like this game even more if it was more like The Long Dark. However, I know that is not appealing to the majority of gamers of this like uh, this genre. So, I know that's not really going to work out well. What the? I missed the meeting. I didn't get the memo! You guys didn't tell me! I didn't know we were meeting today! Oh my goodness, I feel like a goofball. I'm showing up late. Let me at least find some snacks first. This I can show up and be like, oh, sorry, the uh, the line to go and get the snacks is so long. I'm sorry I'm late, everyone. Oh my goodness, look at this. Looks like nobody else is home. Holy. Here, let's get a little closer, sort them out. And it's brought out of Martin. Oh, everyone, we got snacks over here. I want to share with everyone. One, one, two, you open wide. I'm like throwing Pez Time at people. To reload. It's like, uh, we're throwing, um, the popcorn. Open wide. Go. Nice. We'll grab whatever this is. Let's see, Far Cry 5 is a pretty good game, too. Yeah, I haven't played anything in the Far Cry series. That's something I should probably look into getting on the vote list as well. You think most players want one improvement before uh, before all? Better multiplayer? Remove the pet tethered system? Yes. Every single multiplayer game ever should not have a tether system. We're in the, Listen, okay. Yeah, sure, fine. 5, 10, 15 years ago, especially. Yeah, a tether system made sense. We didn't have systems that could handle it. In the modern era, stop it. Stop tethering us. Let one person sit down and hold the fort, work on building the base, right? Because we all have different play styles. That's one of the best parts about playing multiplayer is when you and the person you play with have different play styles so you can be complementary to each other. One person is doing base building, uh, inventory management, you know, gun maintenance, whatever. The other person is going out there and hunting down stuff or is holding down the fort while you're going and doing scavenging and like looting and whatnot. Like, that's one of the best parts. Remove tethering. It, there's no excuse these days. Man, I gotta stop headshotting these guys. I keep saying it. I gotta stop headshotting because we don't actually get the influence until they explode. Oh, oh awkward. Get off my door, man! Get. There we go. Yeah, no, tethering for sure needs to be dropped. Um, but yeah, what I kind of want is, I, I like games that are like, brutal. Like, br like brutal. Right? I, so, for example, for me, and how I was talking about like the long dark, I would want it to be where the encumbrance system reduces your character's movement speed, like the actual movement speed and everything. Like, encumbrance actually truly matters. Um... 
cars have durability on different sides as opposed to a general overall car durability. Like, you have to repair different parts. Not, like, as intensive as Tropic Zombo. Better not let that one That's get a bit up. much. Right? Where it's like, the battery's damaged. The muffler's damaged. I don't know. Like, that, it's a, that one's a bit much. Uh, We've got a zero but, you know, like, kill. maybe like five points of damage on them. Like, you know, so we can't blast through the window. Whoop! Through the window. Um... Something like that on there, and then have a few where it's it's weight, not inventory slot related, right? But then like you you have to like acquire enough food, you have to deal with like calorie count stuff. So instead of quantity of food X, it's amount of calories still within the and goose egg. Like when you look here, it's like it doesn't say twenty food; it says X amount of calories and X amount of calories different. Characters have different calorie needs. I think it'd be so much fun. Make it a little more in depth, a little more nitty gritty. But I understand that it also would be very annoying for a lot of people. Nothing, nothing, and so, more nothing. They shouldn't do that. I would find it fun. I would enjoy it. But I know this. It just. I don't think it would be good for the, for the game, for the franchise itself. It's not a horse. That's not even a horse. Oh, that is. Deep up, deep, deep, get that horde. Oh man, we just didn't get nearly as much movement towards being the hero as I was hoping. Head on home. We don't really need the blood samples, we got a bunch. I like clearing them up when we can, but. Alright. Let me get back over to base and we'll check chat here. But yeah, I think I would, I would enjoy that a lot. But again, this is why I play those other games. <laughs> but we play The Long Dark. We haven't played The Long Dark in a while, too. We're going to play that. Story mode's been updated, too. There's more story now. I'm not used to living someplace as big as this. Yeah, don't you worry, Reba. You'll get used to it. Let's go ahead and hop off. Ooh. I need more. Make me... Are them? Popped off. Perfect. Another horde's moving. Yeah, we're gonna have to go and start clearing. I like this mechanic a lot. I'm a big fan. But you can't overcomplicate games. I mean, true. You don't want to make it too complicated too fast. Um, what is it? Far Cry 5 is pretty creepy one. Really? Okay. Kind of like uh, Wacko. Hmm. Doesn't make sense. If you're not mistaken, multiplayer still goes through uh, Microsoft servers, so why the tether system? Just so that Microsoft servers don't have to expend as many resources? What are you talking about? <laughs> it makes it cheaper for them to run the servers, right? Uh, but no, it really, it really, really shouldn't be a thing anymore. Like, especially being on a server like that. It shouldn't be a thing. Or, at the very least, have, like, hostable servers for, like, you and a friend. Like, the tether system for multiplayer, just, it's such a drag. It's such a drag. I was playing multiplayer on a friend's uh, game for Conan Exiles, and you're, like, tethered within one square on the map. Which would be, like, no further than here on this map. When you go past here. It's so sad. I don't know how tight the tether system is on this game. Yeah, we got some trauma. What's the trauma damage that we got here? It's probably inhalation, right? No, cracked ribs and <laughs> a dislocated shoulder. Oh, oh, ow. This sounds quite painful. You think it's a struggle between too much detail, gameplay, and simplicity? Uh, gameplay and simplicity? Yeah, I agree. I guess it's like a double edged sword. There is part of the audience who like the complexity and in depth, and the rest who get scared of it. Yeah, I agree. I, it, again, it's too much complexity for what I want, but that's what I would want. I, I like the in-depth level stuff. Like the super nitty-gritty. Big fan. So you can find info about Terminator Survivor over on Steam. Well, let's take a look at it. The release date is in October this year. Okay, so we've got some time before then. There's a couple other games that are going to be released before then that are on our radar. Like Frostpunk 2, which is being released in two months, I think? Two, three months? One or the other? So close on endurance. Drew's severity goes down. Uh, I want to go and finish her off here. Back to work. They're almost done. 
But I also want to let her rest. Don't end up in trouble. Oh, actually, perfect. Let's go take out that incoming horde. Where does that thing will actually land? I can only imagine it's going to land... It's got what? One, two, three, four, I guess five, six, technically, if it comes behind us. Lots of it can go. Far Cry 5 is a super difficult game. I think if we were going to do Far Cry, we'd probably start with one of the earlier games, I imagine. I don't think we'd start straight with number 5. Oh, another horde. Oh, it's a barrel. That's, uh, I'm going to go and, need to, need to go and figure out a new plan. Deal with that barrel. Let's go over here. Bunch of bloaters here, too. That's not good. Welcome. Touch it. Take it down. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. The stumble forward is hysterical. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was really funny. I can't keep this up. Oh. A second here. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, we're gonna jump, swap, eat the snacks. We didn't get a chance to take him out. Oh, I was looking at the mini map, that last shot was pretty bad. That cloud makes me want to puke. For him, let's stumble. Old stumbles over here. Back it up. A screamer! What where? There. Why do we have screamers like right next to our base? What's going on? Sprint and reload. I do like that we can reload while sprinting with this gun. It's really nice. Alright. Forward progress. There we go. Cleared. Hey, there we go. Automation acquired. Hero status gained. Perfect. We didn't actually do what I was aiming to do. Um, okay, it is going over here. Okay. Yeah, we're playing Heartland. When he laps around the base. Yeah, I mean, that would get your... Uh, that would get that endurance up and running, huh? Or not endurance, that would get the marathon up and running. Oh, we're done here. You just take the car right back to the... Bring the car right on back home. Swap on out. The cult-based story for Far Cry 5 with super good storylines and amazing videos. Nice. Okay. I can get behind that. I mean, we played... We, we played um, Cult of the Lamb. We can, we can play some culty stuff. This has got to be the largest base I've ever seen. I... I would really like more voice lines. <laughs> I would really like more voice lines. You are done. Uh, in your entirety. Automation. Facility action speed increased. All around. Troubles brewing. Amazing. Alright. Did you chill out? Go ahead and... Yeah. Woo! Hero! Go ahead and Action assume direct control and, and play as uh, Vic here. Oh crap, I just now got it. Dinosaurs oil gas station. Duh. All right, Vic. Let's do this thing. We we'll clear out these guys here real quick. You and you. All right. Open bullets. That was loud. Get you leveled. Let's just take a Molotov, honestly. Where's that noise coming from? I don't know. Yep. Alright. 
Look how close are we? We're like a juggernaut away. Pretty good. Another infestation is moving. From here, Severity 3. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. We'll go and start clearing that out very soon here. Let's all clear out our inventory. Perfect. After that one, you Things bought five Far Cry Primal. First thing for you, it was a bad game. Understand that. I mean, it comes down to like your preferences, right? Down to your preferences for how the game is played, what you do. Let's get all those loaded up. We need more mods. Oh. Anything else we need to get active first before we go? Oh, we still have three open beds. Pretty much all from the lounge, which is quite nice. Oh, and uh, the, the nightly patrols, right? Six more minutes on this one before we have to redo that. Okay. Then, bullet wise, what are we low on? We're not using any 44s. I don't think we even have a gun for 44s, to be honest. We're low on 556. Let's go ahead and just make a couple 556 just for just a stockpile. Two rounds of 556. Because we are using that with the. ARs. Alright, let's uh, repower the base. <laughs> Wait, three, two, one. Powering down. Oh. Oh, we don't have a we don't have a single free individual. Awkward. We have to finish putting seeds in. Awkward. <laughs> Silly zombie lost his head. Move back tomorrow. Gonna to force yourself to actually beat the game. Alright, good luck, Green. Good luck. Maybe you'll have different uh, different options on it. Yeah. Good luck, good luck. We'll see you next time. Right, powering back on. Perfecto. Alright, cool. Well, unfortunately, we actually need to have a bit of a shorter stream today. I've got to get some stuff done before I go to bed. So we got to end it here at midnight. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow playing more of this uh, for a normal stream length, which is four hours. So one extra hour from what we're doing right now. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. So tomorrow, our objective... Today was essentially just continuing to upgrade the base and starting to get people set up. Tomorrow, our objectives are going to be take out that plague heart and then continue the story. Those are going to be our objectives in that particular order. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and get Vic to hero status. And then we're going to go and clear the plague heart with Quincy. And then we'll go do the story, whatever that is. We might end up taking a break between the Plague Heart and the story, because we're pretty much just doing the story exclusively with Quincy, since he's an all-around top-tier guy with his skills. So we might end up having to give him a break to deal with uh, whatever plague he's picked up or whatever trauma he has. And in the meantime, maybe go do a little more base upgrades. That's the goal. That is the goal, but thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate you being here. It's a whole lot of fun with you hanging out. I will see you all tomorrow for State of Decay 2. Heartland, and then on I actually don't know if we have a Saturday stream for Stardew Valley. I'm gonna have to talk to Enigmatic Rose to see what the plan is for that. We might have a Saturday stream. Otherwise, I will see you Monday, Tuesday for Raft. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.